Hey everybody, welcome in. Let me just move this a little closer, it's probably going to make some noise. How's everybody doing today? And hey there, Nova. So, today, we're going to be reaching 300 hours in-game... Obviously, it shows 2.98 and 20 minutes, but I wanted to show something before we get into that because when I first started the game on Christmas, I lost three hours of gameplay due to um, an error, and I had to restart. So, I'm going to go into here because it actually shows all my stats. Uh, last night when I signed off, it was 40 minutes away. I kind of want to share that before we get into this because we are reaching a big milestone and we're still like just barely over halfway with the actual main story. So this is big. I pressed the right thing. Oh, shoot. Um, <laughs> whoops. Well, uh, anticlimactic. Well, we still have the big 300 for the actual save to show 300, but I did get 300, apparently. Oops. So, uh, yeah, that, there's that. Um, and let's just get into it, because there's actually something I wanted to get. My remote. I think I'm on the right thing. Yes. Sorry, I'm just all over the place right now. Uh, we got a bow. We finalized our full set to mythical. Really excited about that. Um, what else did we do? I think we got a few other things that we upgraded, and there was something that I grabbed last night off stream that I wanted to share. I think it was this, but I don't remember. Um. It was something. I don't remember what it was. And I'm doing good, uh, Nova. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's what I want to share. We are in the middle of the nighttime, so it's completely dark right now. There's something in... playing around with a setting on my TV, it looked too dark. There is a weapon available. Hello there. In the opal shop. What do you have today? That is available right now. The bear claw, which I don't have, and is a premium weapon. I just think that it would be fun to have this, because I like the raven gear, and it's another raven gear bearded axe, so if I wanted to go dual axes, this would be totally cool. So I'm really tempted to buy it right now, like I have the opals, I'm not sure if I should do it. I mean there's three days, I have 180 right now, so that would give me 60, I'd be able to get some more opals before the next reset. I don't know if I want any of this stuff, though. I'm probably just gonna get it, to be honest. The next time it comes around is gonna be a while, I'm sure, so... Uh... Yeah, let's, let's pull... Let's just pull the trigger here. Sturdy and yet lightweight. Perfect for your line of work. Okay, that was interesting. It showed one, and then no. What? Are you serious? What just happened? 
Why does it do that? Okay, that was interesting. Um, so we have a long travel back to uh, Jorvik. We're going to try and finish that up today. I mean, we've got a little bit of stuff done last night that I probably should have waited for today's stream because I just started doing this and then I went and grabbed everything else. So, um, yeah, I think we're going to be finishing this today and then we'll be starting Essex next Wednesday or possibly even today I'm not quite sure there's not too too much here let's see the mysteries there's three mysteries one two three world events basically I couldn't find the key to this and I'm assuming it's part of the storyline as there was a note in there that said something about uh, something to do with what's going on, so, yeah. And then, yeah, just not too much left here. We'll be heading up there and getting it done. Let's go check out this axe, because I am curious. The pretty axe. Consuming a ration temporarily increases attack. Duration, 5 seconds, bonus, plus 10 attack. That is nice. Now, what do we want to put on this is the question. Um, I'm going to do this real quick because this is what we normally do when we're starting up. Just getting stuff situated. Uh, increased critical damage when low health. That could be interesting, but we're never usually that low on health. Um, increased ranged when weak points. Increased attack after a combo finisher up to five times. That might actually be nice. Yeah, we'll go with that one. So our fact of the day is about the last king of the Vikings. And pretty much that leading into Christianity spreading throughout the Norse, Danish, and Swedish um, settlements over from where they're originally from. I just kind of randomly ranting. I'm still getting my words here because I haven't talked today. So if I stumble over myself, yep. Hmm, ability damage could be better too. We get a little bit more of that. Um, heavy, light. What do we want? To be honest, I think we could go with the ability damage if we're going to use this as a secondary weapon. I'll go light, if we're going to be speedy with it. And then the uh, ability damage right here. We're all set there. Head on off to Jorvik. We have all of our ammo, yes. And today I'm going to say it, because I even said it last night, and I just love the beauty of this game. It's so gorgeous, even at night. Lighting, everything. So enjoyable to be, 
that enjoyable to be in this game and see all of the. Oh, right, I have to wait. Uh, just, yeah, I, I just love it. I can't say enough of it. We'll be getting some music here in a second. I just want to set this up. See the boat there. Sail out. So let's see, what can we do today? I think I might actually do a little bit of uh, fishing as well. And we're gonna be on these rivers a lot, so we may stop and do some fishing. I need to look at my fantastic fish and where to find them. Because we have a bunch of stuff that require fish that we can get some good stuff from. And I would like to take advantage of that before the end of the game. I don't really want to do those kind of things after because it feels like it would be kind of pointless to me anyway. Most of the items are useful now, so get them now. Oh god. Whoops. Uh, one second, I need to switch that over to my other screen. I didn't realize that my internet browser was going to pop over there. <laughs> um, hello? Hmm. So, this is usually what happens. I just have a weird start and then we get into the good fun stuff so give me a few here we'll get situated and settled eventually Also, we've done a little bit of uh, hairstyling with Avar, and uh, gave him a little bit of a shave. He got his long hair still, but we just gave him uh, some more sides, uh, side shaving there, and uh, thought it would be a little bit better to have some more variety for him. Just waiting on this to start correctly. Not wanting to press play for some reason. There we go. I think we should be good now. Get back over there. Get that back over to the game. Uh, okay. Sure. Even if you set up things while you're getting ready to stream, it does not mean that everything is running properly like it should when you're setting up, so 
Things are still getting adjusted. We'll get settled here in a bit. So we got a long trip here. Um, I did take out a major assassin last night uh, that was part of the magisters so we're down two and we've got three left before the leader um, it was kind of easy to take care of because it wasn't too much of a thing it felt kind of I don't know just we can raise the sail in these waters. like a more underling than one of the top guys. Get an interesting uh, thing to say, but I should have done that on stream. I don't know. Some of the stuff I want to leave for others to experience and not be everything, but I guess if you're this far in watching, you're either finished with the game or you're just wanting to watch in general. Oh, I have no idea. Okay, I think we put the, Run up the, sail. the sail now. So I'm actually working out a intro in my head of what I want to do. For an actual intro instead of just uh, the countdown with the stream starting and then transitioning over to the actual game I'm gonna be working on a actual intro I don't know the specifics of everything I'm doing with it but I have a general idea I'm going to try and work on it and hopefully it comes out well Uh, I don't know when that's going to be. It might be a surprise uh, whenever I get to that. Oh god, am I going the right way? Which way am I going? Oh, I see where I'm going. And yes, uh, I agree. Um, the horned helmets was a thing down in the... I don't remember. I think it's the 19th century, which would be the 1800s. Uh, they did it during operas and plays um, to give it more flair and uh, dramatic scenery. Uh, when most Vikings didn't even really use helmets for time they usually were helmetless um, the helmets that they did pick up were usually from fallen enemies so whatever helmets they used were helmets of people that have been killed by them so technically the helmet that I'm using on my avatar here is kind of inaccurate as well I mean I used to have no helmet on but for the purpose of Having a little bit of fun, I wanted to have a helmet on for a bit, um, just to change it up. Probably going to be switching back to the helmetless version. Uh, I'm going to be doing some new uh, face markings as well. Which, I'm not even sure that they did that either. I mean, they probably smeared some mud and stuff on their face to make them a little bit more menacing, I'm sure. But nothing like detail, detail stuff. Yes. I 
actually. I don't know if I want to play around with it when I'm so close to Jorvik right now. Oh god. This is the one thing that's really cool about this game. The weather changes are so drastic and quick. Did I just go down the wrong way? No. I see where I am. See, this fog is just horrible. I couldn't see where I was going for a second. Well, we could have. You just decided to take it down because I decided to go right and you thought I was going left. That's the thing about the code right there. It has a set limit of how far away before it's like, no, you're about to go under a bridge. I'm in New England, or in New England, and uh, over here in the US, and the weather is very unpredictable over here. Um, right now it is 27 degrees, and on Wednesday it's going to be 57. Uh, we still have snow on the ground, so it's all kind of crazy. We don't know what the weather is going to be at any time. I've had snow... Uh, take me out of school when it was September, so... And that was when we went to school in shorts. On the first day of school. Yep, that was a random ass day. I still don't know how to explain that one. Up here. Oh, we are back in beautiful Jorvik. <sighs> hmm. Oh, what the hell happened there? You know what? I am going to. As much as I love the shield that we just got yesterday, I'm going to stick the bear claw as our secondary weapon. His double axes can be a lot of fun. And that sounds about right for here too. Um, it can just be brutal if it wants to be. Um, so do we have anything that we can do nearby? Oh, shoot. That's what I wanted to see. Every time I go past the dock, I always forget about that. One second. It's looking laggy to me, and I was just making sure that it's not going to do it. Ooh. <laughs> um. Nobody saw anything. Shh. Nobody saw anything. It's completely okay. I promise. I have a feeling it's on this boat. There it is. It wasn't me, I swear. I swear it wasn't me. Okay, maybe she did then. So, I don't know if I have anything else around here. No, not really. Just the other side of the river near horse stables. Um, oops, I keep hitting everything. 
There's something past here, but I think we'll do that later. There's a world event on the way. We'll do that. I mean, I probably could have just done this naturally, but whatever. Alright, now it looks more fluid. There we go. Sometimes the Xbox app is very fickle. So, oh, did I forget to put that like that? Whoops. So, that's supposed to be a question of the day, uh, or what is your favorite movie? And I forgot to put question of the day. So, what is everybody's favorite movie? Oh, is this world event? Oh, there's two bridges. No wonder. I'm like, why am I not seeing this? I know why. Um. Hmm. Something's going on over here. Are you going to enter the water or not? No. The waters are too cold. Ah, oh, but the quicker I am baptized, the bigger business will be. Mm. One does not receive the Holy Spirit under the watchful eye of God simply to improve trade. A moment in frozen water is a minor bit of suffering for a lifetime serving the Great Father. Do it. A moment in frozen water is a minor bit of suffering for a lifetime serving the Great Father. Do it. One cannot become that one of man God's children needs a push without going or a good through scare. the proper ritual. No, I have avoided the water for weeks, and I do not intend to freeze this fuel. No wonder people avoid your market stall. You positively reek. I have a delicate body. The cold will take the life out of me. I'm only borrowing it. There you go. Cold! Cold! The ice waves are taking me! Seth! Oh. Hey! This is not so bad. Good God, at last. I hereby baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit within us all. You are now a child of God. So, um, is this it? It is. Go forth and walk his holy steps, new child. If his steps go to the market, then so be it. But first, I could go for a nice swim. Did we just... I have done enough. I think we just made a Norseman a Christian. Whoops. Antum amas te qui elegit ma ad vaso vocato. Pancantoria me. Thank you for getting that man into the water. We had been waiting for too long, but we are patient. Anyone keen on the teachings of our Lord is welcome. Perhaps. No. <laughs> that was pretty quick. He's like, no. Um, okay, so I'm going to put this down as a marker, 39 minutes, uh, I want that no, just, I want to make that as a sound command or something. Because sometimes even the simplest thing is kind of cool and funny. Oh. We usually start off very, uh, relaxing. I mean, I'm normally relaxing. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ.
that m one might actually be too loud. <laughs> Holy crap. Hey, love drive. Yeah, well, that wasn't relaxing. I still have to set the levels for things that I don't remember what I set them at. So, thank you for helping me with that. Oh god. I think you scared the stream, too. You broke the stream. Does that look smooth or is that, uh, laggy-ish? Can't tell. Oh, shoot. Music. Hello. Also, all the commands now show properly if you type them into the chat, so. If you type in sound effects, it'll show the entire list. I figured out what I was doing wrong. Um... So we're right around the corner. I think. Also, there is a follow. I think that one's kind of cute. There's the follow commands as well now. I set those up yesterday. Whee! <laughs> Alright, I want to turn off the music for this. Here's the rectory. The abbess said she suspected secrecy among the priests and bishop. Seems quiet. Where is everyone? That's a good question. Okay, maybe I should <laughs> Oh my god, that was actually great. Oh, maybe I should set that to uh, some sort of points thing so that when that sound effect is played, I have to run. Because that is actually pretty freaking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Please tell me nobody kissed me. <sighs> Someone is hiding in there. Doubt he'll come out. I'll have to find a way in. Set down on fire? Ah, I see how to get in. Maybe not. There it is, that's what I thought. And there's a gold X here. Huh. So that's... Telling. That's a telling story right there. Without... Uh, blah, blah, without without actually telling anything. Oh my god, I can't talk. No, stay away from me. Stay back. Ah! What are you doing in here? Musky. Been here long, priest? Just who do you think you are trespassing like this? This is my property you've destroyed. 
Alright, we need to hide our head a little bit here. Oh god. <laughs> Saucy Viking Party. <laughs> you know what? That would be a great thing to add for the intro, to be honest. <laughs> so, uh, why do you hide? I will destroy you. Tell me what where the bishop is. Hmm. Both of these options are great. Why do you hide and tell me where the bishop is? <laughs> Here you priests have been hiding ever since some Christian texts went missing. What are you hiding from? The Red Hand? Who else? They muscle their way to and fro. Oh, damn it. No one has done a thing about it. I'm looking for the bishop. Where is he? If I knew you were going to answer that. Said he would return once he finished tending to a private matter. But that was some time ago. Show me there. What do you mean to do with him? Now. Lord, forgive me. I knew I should have left. Did he just close the door on me? Uh, where'd he go? The hell? Oh. The bishop's court. Um. The hell did he go? Bishop's court. What is that burning smell? The hell is he? Dude! Oh. Wow. Sitting here, where the hell did he go? Alright, I'm gonna have to close this, I think. Something is making the Xbox app lag out, so I need to close some stuff here. I regret it already. Um. Ah. Huh. I think the priest is dead. Oh, wow. Why is that so red? Is that as red as I think it is for you guys? That is like pretty red, but on my other screen it's like darker red. Well, I want to make sure. Okay. So it's just the colors in the game then. Oh, Jesus! I'm setting that timer longer. <laughs> Blood. There was a struggle here. It, now that's the kind of interactivity I've been wanting for you guys. Uh, it's actually kind of funny. All right, so we got a. Lord above. The bishop! No, no. I can't look. Oh, dear lord. Ugh, the stench. He looks oh. like circus shit. Oh. A charred letter beneath the body. No. He must have tried to hide it before he died. Oh. Charred letter. Fellow brothers of the light. It is with a heavy heart that I will be resigning from my duties at the minister. The texts we kept there have been compromised, and I can no longer tolerate the abbess's methods. God forgive me for desecrating the, these sacred texts, my brothers. Listen carefully. The church is no longer safe. Holy grounds. As I write this letter, I fear there may be an attempt on my life. Remember this name, the Firebrand. She is... The rest of the note has been burnt away. So we know who it is. I so definitely know who it is. Bishop was conflicted and killed him before he could say a word. It's a confession. 
The bishop played a part in destroying these texts against his own will. The rest of the letter is burned, but makes mention of the minster and the abbess. Is that where she's been keeping these texts? Look around! Search every room! They're around here somewhere! And there she is. It's them! It's the Red Hand! Oh, Lord of mercy! Quiet. The Red Hand. I need to leave. Pagan, we will burn that sinner just like the others. Um... How do I leave and get out of here? Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> we will complete our work. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh, shit. Ow. I know he said to leave, but I kinda wanna see what's in these rooms. Should probably leave the back way though. Or not. Jesus. Praise Odin, we just... The target sent the red hand after me. I must be closing in. It is time I head to the Minster. The Abbess knows more than she's letting on. Alright, so we are headed to... Oh, Minster, whoops. I've been saying Mister. <laughs> My bad. Um... Yeah. We're going right to the Minster. So I don't know about you guys, but I was actually having a lot of fun sharing and looking up the places uh, after the game and right before we ended the stream. Why is it so damn laggy? I don't know if we can really do anything else with that since we looked up most of the stuff, but... Oh, whoops. Hi. Boom. Damn, I took out two of them at once. Get over here. Blood Viking her. Oh, hey. Oh, because that's not the skill anymore. Oops. Ah, oh, damn it. I think it's this one. Yes. I forgot what I put it on. <laughs> Oopsie. Ooh, beat him with that shield. Beat him. Chop your head off. Oh, you're lucky. Hey, Violet! But I had a lurk command. Oh, wait a second. I didn't set it up on this one. Well, thank you for the lurk, though. Um, I will have that set up over the weekend to actually work again. I don't know why it's not a thing when I had it a thing. already been in here to get everything so this should be an easy climb I know where I'm going and for the sake of just having fun we um. oh because it's a long ship I'm like, wait, why isn't it working? But it's long ship, not long boat. <laughs> At least it should be long ship. There we go. No worries. A lot of commands to get ready for. Uh, for remembering what's what. 
I love the ambient sound of this bell, like, just sitting here last night, I was sitting, uh, just kind of walking around and listening to this bell and the streets, it's really cool. Weird thing is, though, there is no bell in the tower. No bell in the tower. Probably should have saved before going in here. I actually have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Was it a decent day, though? It wasn't, like, too crazy, was it? I'm sure it probably was, since you say long day. What? Just what do you think you're doing? This is no place for you, priest. Go. Now. Blasphemy! Stop this at once! Something troubling you, father? Abbess, look. They are burning all of these passages. Why are you not stopping this? Oh. <laughs> because I ordered them to. Also, we really know who she is. What? That mask is not hiding her face. The vellum that burn before you are covered in lies. So long as they exist, you cannot hope to see the world the way it truly is. Lies? Abbas, what has happened to you? We are God's children all. Do not renounce him like this. Please, I beg of you. You can still repent. God will forgive you. You know he will. Your mind has been poisoned, but worry not. We have the antidote. We will set a new example to which all may aspire. You, you, you're mad. You won't get away with this. I won't let you. There is no one to tell. No one who will hear your cries. Is she gonna burn them? If you cannot bear to watch them burn, then you should burn with them. Oh, okay. That well, that just happened. Um... I want it all destroyed. Every text, every passage, every scribbled piece of paper, everything. It is time to end this. Yes, Firebrand. Why is there two of them that look exactly the same? Wait, why are they all dressed the same? The same haircut and the same hair color. Huh. The Abbess is the firebrand. She'll kill whoever stands in her way. Well, see, that one I kind of knew. Between her and her next victim. Okay, so let's go take a look at this real quick. The firebrand. Abbess Ingeborg. She is the Roman district, or she is in the Roman district within the city of Jorvik. Like, I knew as soon as I saw her yesterday on stream that she was totally a firebrand. An angry priest once scrubbed young Ingeborg's tongue with soap for spewing heresies and lies. That day, Ingeborg, Ingeborg, oh my god, I'm saying it way wrong. Words, just words. Um, learned that knowledge was power, controlled by the church. Then she rose through the church hierarchy, but the order offered her even more knowledge, and thus more power. Fellow brothers of the light, it is with heavy heart that I must resign. Okay, so we've already read that one. Abbas and her decoys have split up to collect holy writings outside. Oh, okay. That explains why there's multiples of her. They're trying to cover her face so that we don't know which one of her doubles there are and which one is her. I got it. Interesting. Even though it says where she is, doesn't necessarily mean we're going to be able to get her. And as it shows here... Oh, hold on. Identify and assassinate... A firebrand.
<laughs> that was funny. Instant assassinations are back, and I'm so happy. They put out a hot fix last night, and I didn't even realize it while we were streaming yesterday. I thought I was just getting lucky. But no, it was an actual fix that they did yesterday, so I am so happy about that. Can I not burn when grabbing that? There we go. Wait, when did they kill this guy? And this guy? What the hell? Oh god, his legs just flailed up when I touched him. Is he alive? Oh, hi! <laughs> Oh, that feels so nice. Oh, man, I'm happy. Ooh, you turd. I mean, do they really think that they're gonna be able to beat me? I've got tons of levels on them, and hello, I'm here to kill you. Am I even near them? Oh my god. Oh god. Now they're just scattering around. That makes it worse. Oh? Oh. Oh! Oh! What? How did it go right through their head? Come on. That was so unfair. So, from what it's looking like, this person was supposed to be... <laughs> uh, climb? Oh my god, where am I? I can't see! Hello? I think we're gonna do this stealth-wise. We've been doing a lot of just straight-on attack. Are you telling me that window's been open this entire time? Son of a... I'm nearby, I know that. But. Hello? Listen to how quiet and calm it is here. Kind of eerie. Should have been right on top of them, but now I don't know. They'd be up in that area. 
I'm trying to think. Sounds interesting, but uh, probably not. If I'm being honest. I haven't watched AEW really since they launched, so I don't think I'll really do anything. I might like watch it later sometime. Whenever that may be. I'm curious why Big Show decided to go there though. Hold on. Well, yeah. I... You know what? We should probably set a trap here. Oh man, it feels so good to be able to assassinate properly. I can go about situations so much better. I think there's two of them over there. Damn. Where's the third one? I hear another one. Oh, hi. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I still got it. Cool. I think NXT is just moving to Tuesdays for a more proper show because SmackDown was on Tuesdays and maybe USA is thinking that uh, Tuesdays need more filling on their schedule since they, all they have is really uh, reality TV on the USA Network. Not much to watch there, so... That's my thinking behind it. Plus, if they're going to be unveiling a new NXT show, it's probably taking over the Wednesday slot, so... Where is this? Huh. Am I overlooking something? They're probably up there. Yeah, no worries. Ah. Now I have to use the bathroom. <laughs> Literally, I have to use the bathroom anyway, but that just made me have to go even more. <laughs> so I'll be right back, guys. Uh, I really need to put a background on that chat thing, or at least move it. Wait, move it. Yeah, I made it awkward, I know. Oh! Yeah, that doesn't ma that doesn't help. That doesn't help. Oh god. Better over here? Not really. Alright, you know what? 
I'm just gonna leave it. Whatever. Actually, I know I shouldn't be playing around with this if I have to use some things here, but I. You know what? Just go. Just go. Just go. I'll be right back. <laughs> I didn't realize how cold it was in my streaming room. Holy crap, it's cold in here. The rest of the house is so warm. So they gotta be around here somewhere. It's probably easier to spot them during the day, but I really don't want to use anything to find them. I want to actually search high and low before using Odin's sight. I feel like that's a last resort for me right now. If I'm getting up high, trying to look everywhere. I've seen something up there, but I don't know. Um. Huh. I've got no inclination on where they could be. Why did it get darker? From what it's looking like, it's this way. But that doesn't mean that they're necessarily right there. Damn, I don't even have to do anything for a headshot. It showed that I could kill them anywhere I wanted on that body and they would have died instantly. Second, that's not you. Ooh, brutal. Ooh, ow. 
Go ahead. <laughs> when every text is destroyed, it will mark the beginning of a new chapter. Wait a second. Just as the firebrand says. And you're not the firebrand. Um, give me one second to answer that. I just want to take this fake one out because I definitely can tell this is no of reprimand. If the firebrand doesn't get her axe repaired before the next sundown, I will personally see to it that you be purified along with the text. Does that tell us that they're near a blacksmith? Gun. Okay. Whee! <laughs> oh, that was, what? That didn't do anything? Oh my god. Damn. Um, anything interesting lately? Perhaps. Uh, I'll be watching WandaVision tonight, and I do not want any spoilers to that, because, yeah. Anybody has watched that yet? Do not say a single word. I will instantly put you in timeout. But yeah, um, I haven't done anything really outside of my house because I don't really go anywhere. Since this crap happened. And... Huh. I feel like this is something I should have found later. Oh, um... Interesting, let's see. I put my monitor together and everything. I guess that's interesting. No, um. Most of the interesting stuff that I've been doing has been on stream or to deal with the stream, so. Graphics, uh, making music for the stream, um, setting up sound effects. Trying to figure out visual effects because those could be as good as sound effects. So I've been trying to work on that. I just can't find anything good Viking related for green screen stuff, so I'm gonna have to build it myself. And I do not have any sort of sense of music or anything, so the intro music and everything that I've actually had playing when it says stream starting soon, uh, that was kind of a project that was interesting to set up because I had no idea how I wanted it to sound. It took me five hours to just kind of... Oh, there's the firebrand. One of the firebrands. Going to feed the worms. This is a fake one. I guarantee that all three of these are fake. Yeah, um, let me go over to my transition screen real quick while I'm... This music right here. This is all done with, um sound clips not sound clips but they're um pieces of music in a program and you can put them all together on top of something um so that it plays a song so it's not like i'm actually making notes and everything to make it it's more like uh putting certain um musical instruments in a certain order to make the music i guess it's still making music but it's kind of like a cheaper way of making music I'll let you listen to that for a second. That took me five to eight hours, I think, just because 
Um, I wasn't sure how I wanted to sound, and then it's still like only a two minute clip. So, trying to make anything else has been really hard. I use... shoot. Let me... Oh. Magic's Music Maker. I uh, got a humble bundle uh, bundle with it and it had some vouchers for uh, paid content stuff that I could get in the program. So I used some of that and got some stuff that sounded somewhat like Norse music. I mean, there's one that I really want to get that's kind of out of my price range at the moment. That would fit better, but I've been actually um, building my own instruments. Like, uh, there's sticks. It's a simple musical instrument. You take two sticks and you start clacking them together and it makes a great sound. I have some shells that I want to tie together and uh, put on a stick and use as a percussion instrument as well. Um, I plan to use rice in a container and just a glass container and shake that for another effect but I have to get to that and then start recording some of that stuff yeah um, I think that magic music maker uh, if you wanted to learn guitar and you wanted to start making your your own music that would be a great place uh, to kind of start I guess it's not like too overly complicated it's pretty simple as long as you know what you're doing I'm gonna chop her head off lightly crumpled note your work will be recognized in time and you will be rewarded for your efforts aiding the firebrand the vault so brutal it's so brutal but so hilarious yes um i think so um actually i am gonna try and open this back up again hopefully it doesn't lag out anything i just wanted to shut off um Give me a second. I'm going to walk to this next point while we're waiting for this to load. Did I go the wrong way? Oh my god. Sometimes you can get lost just by standing around. Uh, certain... There's an, another program. It's pretty expensive. Well, not pretty expensive, but for me, like $150 to $200 is pretty expensive um, for a digital program that I need to get. It has full Viking Norse um, instruments on it, and I can make my own music through the thing just with that. Like, it has so many good things, and it's created by uh, Daneheim, who I love to listen to. Um, he has his music in this game. He he does a lot of great stuff. He's been having music everywhere, uh, including Vikings and I believe The Last Kingdom. Can't remember where else, but he's he's pretty popular. He's a one-man band, literally. Um, so his music, all of his stuff, he creates all of his stuff. He, he does a great job with overall great ambient music. Waiting for this to load here. Just load it up. Ah.
I love this double axe thing. That missed. Um, I'm just gonna take a quick pop over here real quick. I have Shadow of War, but hello, Shadow of Mordor. I have the original one that I bought for my Xbox back in 2015, and uh, then I sold it, so I had to get a new version, and then I had to restart the entire game over, so I have the Game of the Year edition and the other one, but anyway, I have two different versions of Shadow of Mordor, and then Shadow of War. I loved the DLC on Shadow of... Uh, out of war. I just didn't like, uh, what's her name? The elf. I know people loved her, but I just really didn't like her at all. I can't remember which song of Daneheim's this is. That has a uh, certain sound effect or sounds that I really enjoy that give an ambient sound. I know some of his. Uh, more upbeat stuff is like heavy with drums and vocals. Launch, please. My net should be fine, but it's showing that it's lagging out. I don't know why. Um, let's listen to his new single for a second here. I'm going to mute the desktop audio for a second. Even though I can't really hear this right now because... Oh wait, I need to unmute the desktop. Whoops. That's my fault. You can hear the stick sound. That I was talking about. At least that's what it sounds like to me. And then you can hear the shells on the stick right there like I've been trying to pick up on how sounds work in music and learn myself without actually knowing a lick of music knowledge but this one's actually a really good one with vocals anyway let's kill this person this is actually probably good music to find the fire brand. Ow, what the hell? Oh. Because you are the fire brand. Wait, did we seriously just kill the fire brand already? Um. <laughs> Yep, that was kind of easy on all hard difficulty. Mm. Ooh. This fire that burns inside, I've always had it, a longing to do something grand and important. 
That door was always shut to me. My methods deemed too severe. I was cast out. Shunned. Scorned. But the Order, they took notice of me. Saw that it was courage that drove me. Courage to change the world for the better. They reopened that door. And you used your chance to destroy a way of life you did not support. We have seen time and time again what happens when people are left to interpret for themselves. Knowledge must be controlled. Only then can the message be widely understood. The day where there is but one truth draws nearer. One truth, that is what the Order offers. This one sought to spark a new flame, but did so with a heavy hand. Not a teacher's tongue. This cleansing of yours ends here. My work is incomplete, but not inconsequential. There are others who carry on. For one of the four is us. Why did you say that? What does it mean? Now I go. A flame that grows bright and burns ever more, ever light. That was actually pretty cool visually. To Helheim, where cold and cruel the fires await. Whoa. Yeah, I decided to give him a new uh, haircut compared to what we've been running with because I thought it was time for a new one. Do you want to know about Evazingiborg's involvement? That was kind of anticlimactic for the fight, but then again, how are you really going to be able to have a good time when your power level is 347 and the area is 190? Oh, I feel so bad, but... I'm just doing what the game gives me. I'm playing everything, I'm relaxing, I'm having fun. Literally... Playing on the hardest difficulty. Nowhere else for me to go. And it's still easy, just because of... Like, Odyssey and Origins were a little bit harder, because... You couldn't overpower too much. Yeah, that, that would... I mean, maybe down the line they'll do something like that. This... Oh, wait. That's funny. This was chapter 3. No, this is chapter 3. Okay, so never mind. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, Since we're right next to these dice... I'm going to do the Orlog game again. I'd like to get that done. Or I'd like to at least win the game. Because it is a challenge for the week. And I can get opals from it. Care to test your skill at Orlog? We'll try. There's a player in every port and city. A worthy challenger. Play me! I need my daily entertainment. <laughs> I need to turn this down. Because it's slightly louder. Alright. Let us begin. Very well then. Let us start. I think we're good. I always go heads, I don't... I hate picking tails, it's just not something I do. This is his new single too, like he just put this out... Uh, last month?
take that. This is for... Okay, so we'll do the shield. Firm. Still didn't put anything down, okay. Oh, whoops. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're screwed. We're just gonna have to skip that for now. This might actually be a good one because we're not doing too well in the first run, but we'll see. Sometimes it just changes quickly. Now we're listening to the same one again. I need to change it so that it's playing all of them. There we go. Take those. Those will give me more favors. This will do. Let's skip that actually. Okay, sorry, I was trying to get the music to play because it wasn't doing anything properly, and we're gonna fail this one again. It looks like. Uh, get. There we go. Get five on that one, and I just realized how you actually deal more damage. Whoops. That's like the first time I figured out that you can go down on that thing. One there, we'll get none there. We'll get three on us, but we should be able to do more damage to them than they did to us without actually attacking. Boom! We're up by at least two. Um, I at least want the stopping power. Probably should go all out with the attack, but... Definitely want those. Confirm, and then we'll save the others for later. It'd be good. Ooh, nice! Look at all that. That is going to be super nice. Five or damage. Yes, please. They don't do a lick of damage to us. We should be able to take all that and... Come on. But this is what happened last time. We were this close and then we failed. So should we go all out on attack or should we go on defense? Hmm, that's the question. Probably just going to put these down right now. We're gonna go all out, we're close, we're that close. If we can at least get enough damage to knock them out, I think we should be fine. Honestly, I'm just gonna go all out. They have one helmet, that'll block one of our attacks, so that gives us three hits there. Interesting. And now it's only two attacks, it's looking like. Hopefully three, but still. Don't have enough, I don't think. We'll see how this goes. Is that just enough? No, it's not. Oh, didn't do anything on that one, but it's fine. This will do.
I know. I'm going for it. Also, you can hear the, some of the sounds that I was talking about too, on his music. Like the the rice in the glass container. I can make some of these sounds with that, but it'll be a little bit different, and it'll be more crude, I think. That's what I really want to go for, to be honest. And I'm hoping to make uh, more music so that we can actually play a lot more of it on stream, and I just realized I didn't confirm that. The harder part is going to be trying to figure out if I want to do some vocals, because I have no idea what to do for vocals, or how to say... Wait, did you just make me re-roll? What the hell? Oh yeah, we should be able to win this right here. Grab that. That should be just enough, and I think we won. Well, fought. well played, stranger. Another round. Not right now. We got some that stuff to do, but thank you. And for me, I I used to like metal. Well, I still do like uh, heavy metal, but this kind of music is like a balance of heavy beats and calming and it's really fun to listen to. That's why I haven't been listening to anything really new lately. Fancy a game of all, Nob? Oh, hey, look it. We're about 15 minutes away from our actual 300 on the actual save itself, so pretty cool. Uh, do I want to do that? No, let's just head back to... Alright, so the musics are kind of conflicting each other right now, but if I turn it off... Oh. You know what? It might be easier if I actually turn it down and not off. Oops. I think 10% should be fine. And then we still get that, and I don't have to they have conflicting to sounds. Now listen to this one. This is a good one. I would like to get a drum eventually, but... There's a unique one where it's not exactly round, it's more ovalish. Made out of sticks and bone, and the hide is stretched over it. And it creates that unique uh, Norse drum beat that you hear. I will eventually learn how to speak Old Norse, because that is something I would like to do. I've never learned another language before, so it might be more difficult, especially at my age. So try to learn at least something, or the basics of something, so that... I can do the basics and experiment with it. Like, I know a bit of coding, I've done video game creation, so... And I've learned that all by myself. But it's all about what you do with your knowledge. Is this the area with the thing? Am I still lagging out here? Does that look like it's- yeah, that is. Okay. I need to go to my transition screen and restart the Xbox app itself, not just, uh... Restart the stream on it. 
something is definitely lagging it out and I want to make sure that we're properly doing it here so give me one second to restart this I don't have a capture card that's why I am doing it through the Xbox app and it's the cheapest way for me really but sometimes it can be stupid Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to close this because it's not wanting me to work today. Okay. Huntsman, we really gotta teach you how to host instead of raid. They're two different things. I know you're still learning. We'll, we'll get you going with that. <laughs> but thank you. I just want to make sure that this is running properly. I'm going to close it once more and restart it. Yes? No? It's telling me I have network issues, but I'm not having network issues. I... Guarantee I'm not having any network issues. See, telling me I do, but I don't. Anyway, sorry about that. Let's get to it. There's supposed to be a key around here. I still think this is part of the. Oh, how did I miss that? There's supposed to be a key, but this thing says otherwise. Um, cultist thing. I don't. I've looked for a key. There's no key nearby anyway. I need to turn up the music again. Whoops. All things. I'm just having a day again with this right now. Okay. I really want that tungsten. I just don't know where the damn key is. exactly where it would possibly be unless it's a mission like that's the only thing I can think of that would make the most sense for where a key for that would be unless it's in the water somewhere it um I believe it was for the people that were hunting, that's why I threw it away, but maybe if I read it again. Um, my understanding was it was about, because the scrolls are there, three points to converge a triad of infernal chaos and pain. Once these conditions are met my brothers in robes, the heathens will run with their axes tucked between their legs. The city shall be cleansed. That's why I think it's the thing 
to do with what we're doing as the scrolls um, are all over the room. It says cultist. And like there's nothing really else that I see. Unless it means that I have to finish everything with these three, because there's three um, Order of the Ancients, and it says the Triad, which also means three. Oh, I didn't really want to look too hard into it. Hopefully, it'll unveil itself after. It's not a big deal, it's just... Hmm, that was interesting. There's a spot where two rivers meet. This is the only place that I could think that would be similar, but that's like right on the edge of... City limits, at least. Oh, I didn't know there was stuff up here. See, I get really distracted. Yeah. Um, and again, I don't know, maybe it means road, but hard to tell the roads here. And you can't really zoom in any closer. Where I just heard one of them say Ragnar. So at any rate, I think we might actually be on point to finish this area before the end of the stream. Which I think we did that yesterday with Lincoln? No. That was Wednesday. Let's see. This is what I was talking about by the helmets. I mean, these are Viking guys, but... The helmets look a lot like the uh, Saxon helmets that are around in the game. So... I absolutely love the lighting in this place. I don't think I've saved in a while either, so I'm going to do that. Oh, five minutes. Countdown. It's 12.45 right now. So in five minutes of actual gameplay. What news do you bring? The Firebrand's flame burns no longer. It was Jorvik's abyss, Inkibok. Gods, I would never have suspected. Does the Order's reach no no bounds? None. And it is often those we least expect who carry out their ambitions. The Abbas sought to destroy all Christian texts in the city, rid Jorvik of their ideals. She did utter a phrase that perked my ears. One of the four is ours. Four? But there are only three targets in Jorvik. Could there be something we're missing? Damn Picts! Not only do they hold the north, but those lawless six have free roam in our lands as well. Yours said our spies are on the ground. Under the ground. Only one of them has returned, bone-beaten and bloodied. The howling mother take them. Lovina, a moment of your time, and Hura if he's about. I will be with you shortly. Two more left to hunt. The disputes coming out of the docks lately have been deafening. Head there and dig around. Something is bound to turn up. 
I know that there are some long houses in Norway and Denmark. I think there's a few in East East England somewhere. There might be like one, but I can't remember. Okay. We have one more quest here before it looks like the final guy. Where do we want to go? I want some critical damage, I think. Assassin damage doesn't really do much for me. And the sea axes, I don't really use as much, but I probably should get them. Yeah, let me... Um... Oh, there's one in Scotland. I know that. Just looking it up now. Shetland, Scotland, for one. I know that's a bit more north, but... Um... I mean, there are some places with uh, just the foundations left in England. I'm not sure exactly the spots with the replicas uh, built with the same materials and whatnot, but they are still around. Uh oh, hold on a second. Damn it. Nope, I don't know. What news I'm about to sneeze and I'm trying not to sneeze on on the uh, camera here. Two more left or to on the hunt. mic. The disputes and... coming out of the docks lately have been deafening. Head there and dig around. Something is bound to turn up. Um, so I know that we're going to have to go to theater at some point. Uh, because there's some Yule Festival stuff there. I would like to check out this stuff here since we have to cross over anyway. I just don't know where it is. I keep forgetting to change that when I have a chance and I don't do it. I'm supposed to read question of the day, but yeah, what is your favorite movie, guys? If you have one anyway. Oh no. I was I was uh looking up uh the longhouses after I put my points in and I didn't move the uh thing to yeah. Just wasn't really doing much besides looking up. Is there a certain predator or just the first predator? I know what it is. It is a... Um... 
Hello? Where is it? Am I overlooking this or am I just stupid? feel really dumb. Like, really dumb. Ah, uh, fine. I'm seriously dumb. Where is it? Where is that? See, I knew it. Knew it. Okay, so where the hell is it? Ah. That would explain why. Aha. I knew there was something somewhere down here. <gasps> no. Let me guess. And, uh, yeah. I'm, I wasn't really someone, interested. Someone, help me out from under this bridge. Oh, okay. Look at that, we're just finding everything. I was wondering who was crying. What happened to you, stranger? Burke, the man I work for, he did this to me, that evil man. I was simply doing a round of checks on our last shipment when he accused me of theft. Me! Theft! Please, bring me up to the bridge. I need some treatment, some medicine. Yeah, sure. Uh, what I was saying, the Promethean, Prometheus, whatever it's called. Um, damn, can I climb or do I have to walk around somewhere? Oh, you suck. Fine. Yeah, I wasn't too interested in those either. And again, I'm not really a predator alien fan either, but uh, I could have just jumped over there. <sighs> I'm gonna have to jump over here and jump back down. This guy is a bit of a problem. For me, um, my favorite movie series, I have a couple actually. Uh, Tremors, the series of movies, and the TV show that ran for one season. Uh, of course, Star Wars, and Back to the Future, the series of movies for that, too. Those have been always my favorites. Is it going to tell me where to put them? Okay. There you are, Chad! About time you showed your face. What is left of it? Fuck. No, no, no. Get away from me. Come along, Chad. We still have work to do. Work? You still want me to work? I can't even see my own hands, you heartless bastard. He says you blinded him. Aye, that I did. What is a leader to do when his man can't take their eyes off his treasure, even after several warnings? I 
I was not looking. You stabbed my eyes out. Quiet now, Chad. Um, hand him over to me. No. Do your best to follow me, Chad. Um. Chad, kill me instead. We don't get to save him. He just. Oh my God! More skill points. We just leveled up. What? How did that's bull? That was not my fault. That's fair. All right, so let's see what else we can put in. Um, I don't really like the assassin damage. Those are going to be the last ones I do because it's literally not even going to do anything for us. So any crit that I see, I'm going to do right now. Um, and then weapons and such will be after that. Well, to be fair, let's just to be fair here. Um, 100% besides a mystery and an artifact. 100%. 100% with besides the daughters of Liren, uh, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, uh, 100%, almost 100% besides this altar. So yeah, I've literally done everything. That's why I'm getting skill points like crazy. So like you can see the power levels that. Are supposed to be around. Um, yeah, they're pretty low, but if you look at some of the other areas 250, um, 220, 340, 250, those are some of the high end areas, but I've been doing everything. Most people just kind of rush it and don't do everything. Thus why I have nearly end game power level right now because I do everything. Uh, we did Tetford last night, which uh, we finished that line. So we have two complete lines done. Um, we have a few left and it looks like Killing the firebrand gave us more information on the vice. Okay. There's a black cape with a medallion. Dice players abound in the vice's village. The vice lives close to a waterfall. I cannot help but be amused by the vice. He parades about in his cape, dyed black at his heart, and then the medallion. You have grown too dour. Visit the vice. It's an innocent pleasure to play dice, and though those that gather in his village while he marches about enforcing the rules. On occasion, after a mission, I sit and listen to the waterfall just beyond the door, and relive each kill in my head. What pleasure! Huh. Oh, do I seriously only have four zealots left? Wow. Okay. I didn't even realize I had that many left. That's some... That's getting there, actually. It does, actually. It makes it easier. Plus, you don't have to backtrack. And then... You have everything. Like, if you need gear, you need skills, you want more things to enjoy the story with, you have it. That's why I do everything that I do. Even on stream, I don't really care. Uh, I will take my sweet time and just enjoy everything. Find what I need that is locked behind that. Really? Uh, okay, let me see if there's any other ones. The bow to melee link. Um... That one does sound nice, but I don't normally like run up 
on a bow kill oh there's one what is this one headshot damage and this is oh the bow stun finisher i've been wanting that for a while actually we are nine away from 400 or not nine away uh 49 away from 400 and we are officially over 300 kind of actually curious what our ubisoft connect stats say we're probably at 301 yes Ooh, almost 302 Also, a cool little thing that I found is Smart Intel. Um, I forgot that they did this, but it looks pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Today, you've completed 116 successful raids to date. Don't ask. Axe, just take. Oh, God. There's these cool little things, too. Like, it shows uh, what you've done, how many things you've done. Uh, little tips and hints. I remember they did this and I just forgot. But I do need to claim this because that's some opal. Challenges. I just want to check my challenges, see if there's anything else I might have missed. Yes. I do a lot of that. Um... I'll have to share some of my stats from the other games, too. I need to go to the bathroom again, so I'll be right back. Um, and then we'll get to the thing that we were trying to get to for uh, exploring, so I'll be right back again. So yeah, I don't actually uh, play slowly. 
uh, because I want to play differently than everybody else. It's because I got bored of rushing the game. Of rushing games. Like, I just can't speed through them anymore. It's so boring. And not fun. I used to rush through games and I'd be like, oh cool, I'm done. I only have 50 hours. And it's like, oh, okay. Like, I regret that with Assassin's Creed Unity. That game is really gorgeous, too. And I think I have like 78 hours in it, and I feel like I could have had a lot more if I actually enjoyed it a lot more than I did. I mean, granted, I loved the story. I loved everything in that game. It's just... I didn't enjoy it like I have been with this game. And, um... Oh god, what's going on? No. Just let me die. I'd rather die. You might have been better off stuck with a wretch. Your opinion. <laughs> 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 Oh god, that was funny. I had to save him. I'm not gonna let him die. Because that guy was a turd. What I love about uh, Unity is that they were actually able to use it to rebuild uh, Notre Dame's uh, roof and towers like that is a very impressive thing <laughs> be able to take a video game and be able to build that did I forget to uh... no I can do it Oh god, it's dark in here. Oh, hey. Oh god, the height. The amount of things that are tall there. Like, you could look up and it's like, wow, hey. I think that's probably the most crammed buildings and uh, tallest buildings in an Assassin's Creed game. Like, there's so much compacted into that place. And it's so tall. There's so many places to explore that you could miss something if you're not actually running on the streets. Whoops. And I'm super thankful for all the free games that Ubisoft have given uh, for Assassin's Creed games. Like, I have multiples of Assassin's Creed games due to them giving it away. But if I ever, like, lost my Xbox account or anything, I'd have them on PC. Same goes the other way. I have at least one of each game, at least somewhere. Wait a second. Did I just set that boat on fire? I didn't know you could set boats on fire. Oh! Cool. Oh my god, really? <laughs> 300 hours in game, and that's the first boat I've set afire. How? How? Seriously. 300 hours, and that's the first boat I've set afire. I knew you could do it in the other games, but, like, really? How did it take me this long to do that? What the hell? Okay. That is a very disturbing sound. 
Okay, now I'm curious. Where... Is it on the other side of the bridge, maybe? It was showing a chest or some sort of... Treasure. Yes, um, that was, actually someone pointed out that that's probably uh, one of the most Assassin's Creed games there is, uh, but I wouldn't really agree too much on that. I mean, yes, it is in a way, but I think that had the most fluid parkour in the game series anyway. I loved the little Romeo and Juliet type uh, Assassin's Creed or the Assassin's Templar storyline. That was neat. That's so cool. Like, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm gushing over just a silly sun ray blasting through a, s a doorway and making a small little light thing there. It's just the amount of detail on how they got that sun to work properly. That's great. I seriously can't wait until I have a Series X to be able to play this with full detail. Mm-hmm. It's going to be beautiful. Um... I guess we'll head down here. I know this is a... Pet 2, so we'll probably get that done and then head over. Because we're almost done with... Uh, Jorvik, it looks like. There's not much more we can really do. That's the main story, so... Take our time. It's only one o'clock. We have until s about six, five thirty, six o'clock. Plenty of time to do anything we want. Well, I'm not gonna really rush it. And to do it within a two-year period and have a game release almost every year, that's more impressive. I would love to see what they can come up with for an Assassin's Creed game if they took like five years. Just saying, I would just love to see what kind of impact on the story, gameplay, everything, if they had that extra time to really make it. I believe it's on the top of this roof here. Why? Oh, can I get it? Can I get it? I want a bit of the water, but I want the tower too. That might be perfect. Just look at that. You have no idea how many pictures I've taken. It said that I'm almost up at 200 uh, in photo mode. So, that's not including my screenshots. Actually, can we get any higher? Mm. Oh, is the paper over there? Is that... That's right. Am I lagging out again here? What's going on? Oh, 
god. It's just having a, an issue today right now. I'm going to wait a second. If it continues, then I'm going to have to lower the setting, which I don't really want to do, but I just want to make sure that it's not going to audio lag on me. Because I'm not listening. Oh my god, yeah, I'm going to have to turn it down, I think. At least for now. I would normally listen to my TV, but I also have my alerts to listen for. So I want to make sure that I have right surround sound setting on, which is my computer. Otherwise, I would have put on my TV to listen to that. Sorry about that, anyway. I just don't want it to keep bouncing around and going it, 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 because it's quite annoying for me. If it's annoying for me, I'm sure it's annoying for you guys. I don't normally get annoyed by things like that. Or annoyed by most things, I should say. We are totally going the wrong way that I wanted to go. Hey, come back here. Oh, look at that. We got our last artifact. Um... We have one mystery and one... Uh get but it looks like there's two treasure chests that we'll have to get eventually we have to walk all the way back now Unless, uh, someone starts using a crazy sound effect, and then I'll be running around like a crazy person. Oh my god, yeah. Like, just looking at that. The pollen, the dirt, the snow totally makes it feel more like even the dust flying by right there or the snow at least that's what they're going for here but they do a lot of great little details it's a great series in general and I'm happy to have been a part of it since 2007 like that was one of my first games out of high school <laughs> And I've stuck with the series the entire time. I mean, yes, I didn't play 2 and 3 right away, but I went back and played 3. It took a while to get to 2, though. Uh, and 2 is still not one of my favorites. It's just, eh, to me. I went from 1 to Black Flag. Went back to 3, because... I found out that the stories connect, so I was like, yes. And then... The Black Flag. Oh god. It's not. 
<laughs> oh. That's just an unsung, th unsung thing, I think, if that's gonna be played. I, I gotta do it. It lightens the mood so much. <laughs> now, if it's like something going on with a serious moment, maybe not the best time to do it, but. If it's like in the middle of a story or something. But it is entertaining. That is for sure. And now I don't remember what I was going to say. I was saying something. Oh, this right here. The snow parting. It is so Assassin's Three or Assassin's Creed Three, having the snow and being able to walk through it and move it out of the way. You can probably let me see if we can do this. Whoops! Look at that, just walking the snow down. That's pretty cool. I was able to write Avar's name in it er, uh, last night, I think. I took a screenshot. Oh, maybe I still have it. Hold on. Let me see if I can bring it up. Because it's quite clever. Oh, where is it? Did I take it in here? We're going to take a little shortcut here. Uh oh. Sure. There it is. For reasons beyond me, I decided. Oh, did it really do it when it was saving? Okay. I wrote Avar in the snow with his feet. At least I tried to. No, no, it's good. The crazy is meant to be fun. I'm just saying, like, during uh, story missions or anything, if it's, like, a serious moment where you need to focus or anything, probably not the best time to use it. But any other time when it's like, oh, time to get crazy, we can do it. Totally do it. Um, oh, I think I just saved. Let's go ahead and get this done. Who are you? I must be careful now. Does it talk to him? The Dark Master. I do not see him. Is he here? Keep walking. You have no business here. He has a loud mouth. Usually stands right around here, yarping. Hard to miss. Fuck off. He. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I love it. Can you jump over that thing? No, because it's not gonna let me. So we got in here last night. I'm sure there's stuff in there that we need to get now, but da 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 da. Whoop. <laughs> okay, so the interactive stuff. This is what I wanted to do. Uh, it seems like the complaints by the merchants never reached the council. Interesting. Who let the cat out of the bag? This is why I don't really do stealth anymore, is because I can just kind of go in and 
kill everything with ease. And it's like, why bother stealthing? I mean, it's fun to stealth. But, like Black Flag, this can be done in any way you want, which is totally awesome. Um... I'm trying to remember where the interactive things were. I think one was up here, but I want to make sure. No, it's in that other room. Alright, let's see. Okay. Seized exotic wares. These are worth plenty. Something that could be on the Red Hand's agenda. Accumulating wealth. I wanted to click on that, and then we were starting to talk about Assassin's Creed Origins and Cleopatra. Written orders. I expect all the coin from merchants to be delivered to my office daily. Their stalls draped in black or not hard or their stalls draped in black are not hard to find. Do not fail me again. The sting of a needle. I'm on his trail. Okay. So the dark master seizes cargo and resells it through merchants in the marketplace. The ones involved bear black cloths. I may be able to get their attention by showing some silver around the marketplace. Okay. Well, you're lucky I have coin. I actually have no idea where we're supposed to be really going. But... I'd assume starting down here is the consensus. Oh, wait a second. No, never mind. It's also down here. These, this is just a dock, but let's see. Draped in black. Okay, so we are going the right way now. Um, it's been a while since I've played Origin, so I'm not very good with memory uh, for certain things. So when it comes to remembering dialogue completely. Uh, I have a hard time. It's not that I don't okay. want to remember it, or that it's. Flash some silver to the merchants. That should get their attention. Uh, what was I gonna say? Or that it's um, <coughs> unmemorable. It's just that my memory sucks at times, and I'm not 100% sure what I'm trying to remember or say. Like I just did right there. Was rambling. Hear me, friend. I have a ball of silver that will sink my ship. Can you help me spend it? Keep it down, would you? You'll get yourself killed flaunting like that, especially around here. What good is a market if I cannot sniff around its stalls eager to spend my gains? You wanna let go of your silver? Try the narrow alleys. Now be gone! Oh, okay. Said black with a medallion. So oh, that's why I wanted to zoom in. I was curious there. Keep your focus. There was trouble at the depot earlier. What do you mean, trouble? I don't know for sure, but the needle is calling for more protection. Meet me here at nightfall. We will go see him together. Those guards will return after dark. I might be able to follow them to the needle. 
Hmm. Look for stalls draped with black cloth. His guards gather in the market at night. Okay. So... See if there's any more that we can do here. If not, we're gonna have to wait, but it's not too much longer because the sun is going down. Uh, we will go one by one, and if any of these peddlers gives you a hard time, remind them just who it is they work for. Oh, with pleasure. Hmm. That's a black. Yeah, there we go. That's what I thought. I just want to talk to everybody. Hi, friend. I have a hoard of silver I'm making to spend. Can you help me? What have you got? I have nothing left to trade, but Coppergate Market is the right place. Ask around. You'll find someone who'll bend an ear. My thanks. I rarely use the meditate option. Um, I mean, I used to use it in Origins and Odyssey a little bit just to reset the day, but again, it goes back to not wanting to rush anything. Can I want to talk to him? Not, no. The man. The man. Not the dog. The man. The man. The, the man. There we go. I hear this marketplace sees its fair share of silver path through. I have something that may interest you. You will want to speak to Grigori. The Dark Master? Sorry. Who are you? Someone who wants to do business with Grigori. I don't know your face, and I've said too much already. Please, go. Psst. Psst. Hey! Did I hear you talking about silver? I'm looking to spend a large sum, not fork it over to some street beggar. Oi! I'm no beggar, you dolt. I'm with the big dogs. You mean the needle? You have something he wants. If you truly want to make a trade, head to the statue near the east gate. I shall. Watch yourself around here, young one. Who, me? <laughs> Please. I have a bigger sword than a lot of them. Oh. Um. East gate. This would be the east gate here. The key is hidden around the statue. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna need to do that. The hideout is near a statue east of the market. The key is hidden around the statue. So do we really need to follow the guards then? Now I feel kind of gypped. I wanted to follow the guards. The chatter, too, is pretty cool. That's why I like to go slow and listen. Alright, so... This is the way. I hear that. I felt it. Aha! You know what? Do a statue. So I assume we're in the right area. Plus, didn't they say that uh, they wanted these games to be more RPG? Isn't role playing going slow and not doing this? Like, oh my god, I need a rush. So I'm just playing how they intended it to be played. Low and steady. I assume it's up on that lip. <laughs> 
Um. <laughs> Unless this isn't the right statue. Oh, shoot, there's two statues. Doesn't hurt to go up the statue anyway, and oh, there's a couple statues. Maybe we're not at the right one. Oh, crap. This isn't even as near a statue east of the market. These guards gather. Okay, so maybe following those guards actually might be a good thing if we can't find what we're looking for. Um, I don't want to use my Odin site to find it. That's just cheap. It could be that fallen one there. Because that was the hideout of one of the other people. Actually, hold on. Let's go back up. Um, this is the only other statue. This was one of the hideouts. I'd assume that statue, but... There's multiple statues here, so and it's getting darker, and we need to start thinking if we want to go back and follow those guards, because then we could find the right statue. We can't find it. I believe there was another statue over here, but at the east gate, right? Where was it? The east? I don't know. See, I'm in the right area, I know that. That sound is telling me that I am. I feel like turning off a lot more stuff just to not figure it out and have to really search. Uh, Alright. It's getting pretty dark. I think we should head back to the market and try and follow these guards. That way we can have a better feeling for it. It's an option. There's options. Plenty of options. See, now it's telling me that I'm close near something again. But, uh... The way it's getting dark, I just would rather follow, follow the guards. Because it'll be easier. They said they're going to his hideout. Really getting dark. We will go one by one, and if any of these peddlers gives you a hard time, remind them just who it is they work for. Oh, with pleasure. Oh, 
So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to wait a little bit. Um, yes, um, Black Flag did a great job of kind of changing that up. Like, I mean, there was a couple of songs that they did, but it was very... Um, Unrepetitive, I guess. I don't know what the word I was looking for there, but... Alright, so these guys should be going soon. At least I think they should. Oh, huh. That's cool. He's actually morphing the bread, I believe. This is dusk for sure. It's not nighttime just yet. Maybe another two minutes. I'm just waiting for these guards. Bed. His guards gather in the market at night. His hideout is near a statue east of the market. I saw a couple of them, but. And then the key is hidden around the statue. Oh. They did do a lot of. Oh! He's making biscuits! I didn't even realize that. I just noticed that he took one of the pieces and put it on the table. When he's at the loom, it's pretty cool too. He actually makes. This is very reminiscent of Black Flag. I just realized that I opened this a while ago and I haven't. I'm back. Um, oh, hold on. Here we go. Look at me and my cunningness. Sorry I was late. The lady. You know how it is. Hurry, will you? We have rounds to make. If I follow them, they should lead me to the needle. I could have found it, to be honest, by myself, but where's the fun in that? Oh, that statue. Okay. That makes more sense. We gotta be careful here, because they might notice us, but... Now this tailing seems cool. Having this wait there and sit it out and... I should be cautious around here. This is the statue the child talked about. Now to find the hidden key. Uh oh. I gotta move. Yeah. Are you gonna see me? If 
found the key. Now to locate the hideout. I believe the hideout is right there. There's too many of them that Empty really cards and a black cloth marking the house. This is the place. Come here. Come on. Dumbass. I don't know if we'll need our cloak down here, but we're going to wear it until we get down there. This is getting interesting. Can we save here or are we still in an area we can sweet? Oh, hold on. Might be something about the needle. Yes. He collects coins from stalls draped in black. I think I know who this is. I expect all the coin from merchants to be delivered to my office daily. Yes, okay. There's only one way up. Looks like we're going down. That's pretty cool. Even though it's nighttime, that's still cool. See the light shining through. Why does it look like it's daylight out, even though it's nighttime? <laughs> we can't go back that way, that's for sure. The sound of metal. A workshop in the sewers. What is the needle's operation? And we're gonna turn off our. What's going on? All this silverware, some still in their crates. Has this all been seized as well? How does that sound? What do we even want to know? Oh god, wow, that is a huge forge. That is some disturbing sounds. Oh god.
melting the silver into bars and coins. What do they plan on doing with it? What's going on over there? Oh, shit. Is that fire literally doing nothing to me? I think we saved them. Holy crap, this place is huge. I know where I have to go, I'm just going to explore this a bit more. Wow. Oh, don't tell me his head's glitching out again. I assume this is the only way out anyway. Or his head's trying to focus on the thing that... Yeah. Trying to open this back up. I was trying to do that before. Oh. Wait, I wasn't in your anymore? That was interesting. trying to get a lay of the land here before we actually do anything. Oh, there was a stairwell on that way? Oh well.
Oh, there's another chest down here. Okay. Or was it always that chest? Oh, I see where it's going to be. Why did it reset my volume? That's weird. Um... Literally just exploring everything. That scared the crap out of me. The echo is really great. Doing anything, you guys? Just chill, chill, chill. I'm not here to hurt you. I'll take those coins. Guys, you need to chill out. Just a bit. Honest, I don't need the key, but they are screaming a lot. go back this way just in case there is a key but more or less I think yeah that goes back up we're gonna hop through that small little opening and open it that way I didn't see a key over here before so I don't know why it says your Vic. Like we're somewhere else. Oh. Here we go. I'm not surprised to find you creeping down here. You! You don't belong down here! Neither do you. We run a clean dark in your Vic. I believe those were your words. And yet here I find you swimming in silver from all the wares you've seized. Are you the needle, or just another of his pawns? You have it all wrong. The fabric of this world has been used up, torn, shredded, you see. Someone must be there to stitch it back together. Someone with a firm yet steady hand, who can thread the needle. Someone like me. You are a shit poet, but at least my question is answered. <laughs> yes, well, we all have our weaknesses. Yours appears to be the iron between us. Think your men are going to stop me? I would not undermine them so. The Red Hand are loyal to our cause, which is more than I can say for the merchants. Make it quick. Meet me in the marketplace when you are done. 
Okay, I'll meet you in the marketplace when I'm done. Ooh. The hell? That was easy. Funny that you need a key, but then you can just unlock it from one side. This music actually goes well with this right now. And it's not in-game, which is unfortunate, but... Stop focusing on the door, please. You're far away from it. You don't need to focus on it anymore. Pretty sure it's daylight now. Can I save here? I had to have missed something. So I'm actually gonna... second how do I get up there yes I'm walking a little at a faster pace here because I want to get in here what the hell looking right at where is it is there another entrance up there or something that I'm missing Uh, 
Um, gotta be another opening nearby. Market's there, but something else is there, so I'm gonna wanna go that way first. That chest is gonna bug me pretty bad. Mm hmm. go. Come, come, walk with me. It is good to walk. <laughs> Gregory. Good to take in the air. The sights, the sounds, the smells. Please, Gregory, I, 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 I didn't think you would mind. It was just a few coins. Shh. I understand. It's not your fault. It was mine for thinking you had anything but empty air between your ears. With all the silver I've given you, I have nothing left to feed my children, let alone myself. Please understand. Oh, dear God. Merchants of Jorvik, I promised you a future rife with opportunity. And what was the one thing I asked in return? Do you remember? Loyalty. Loyalty! Okay. Let this serve as a lesson. Should any of you think it a good idea to threaten my operation? This place is heavily guarded. Well, that happened. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> oh man, that felt such old school Assassin's Creed. Time. That was beautiful. Jumping from the rooftop and slamming that thing right in. Yep. Old school. It's funny. As a child, I thought of snow as the tears of God, frozen by our sins. Weak with hunger. I stared into the sky, hoping it was me he wept for. Me he sought to save. But God did not save me. The vault did. He took me to a fine house, gave me hearty meals, a warm bed. For the first time, someone extended a hand, showed me kindness, compassion. And it was then that I made a vow. I vowed to never turn my back on he who was there for me when God was not. So you served the vault, knowing full well what he was a part of. The Order made our paths intersect. I owed them a debt. And I repaid it by saving this city from its own destruction. A life debt is a strong motivator. It took hold of this one's who good, drove it. ...and never let go. Yet not with the same compassion you were shown. Too many have suffered by your hand in pursuit of this course. You're right. Perhaps I deserve this death. But I am but one cog in a large wheel. One that still turns unhindered. Not for long. Ooh. Where you have gone, there will be no tears waiting for you. I'm really liking uh, this area.
Ooh, so close. Splitting headache. Oh yeah. Ooh. In for the kill. And this is why it makes it feel like you're a complete badass when you actually get things done. Wait, what happened? Oh, that's the guy that I stabbed. Okay. Damn. That was nasty. But we're almost done. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break as soon as I check this again. I got a holders mark scheme, and I believe we can exchange these orders when we get back to the settlement. Let's see if we can get more critical. Oh, that one's locked behind that. I wanted to see if there's any open criticals anywhere. Oh, there's one right there. It's done. Um, sure, we could do that. Let's get this critical here, though. Oh god, no. That would have sucked. Go to the world map here, just so that we have something better to look at. I will be right back. Hang tight, guys.
Alrighty, so we are somewhere near an entrance. Is what it looked like. Got a problem with what I'm doing? Get over here. Um, I don't think I've actually explored this area before. Oh yes, I have. I see. Ah. Trying to see if there is some sort of opening. Now I'm super confused as to where that place is to get in there. Each of in a state of The only one that I can tell is right there. And it doesn't lead anywhere else. We would have to go back down. Right there. Whoops. That's not what I wanted, but I'll take it, I guess. I feel like there should be some sort of opening there, but there's not. I'm going back in to that tunnel system. Um, I feel like there's something I missed while I was down there. that look like? Really, I can't use my raven because I'm lightly from here? Really? Really? I'm gonna find this opening. It looks like it's a part of that uh, building area, but I don't remember ever seeing any opening. Oh. I don't know where it would be. Whoops. Back the box. It could be right behind here. I don't remember an opening. Oh, 
Now I'm stumped. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I go back the way I came. I want to get this chest, so. I'm gonna run right now cuz That's what you get. <laughs> we'll find this entrance to that other side there that I missed. I don't know how I missed it. So this is the point of no return. that game <sighs> like there's more of them down here now
Is it through another house, perhaps? Because I'm not seeing a solution down here. Even though it shows it right there. It's super annoying. Right there. Can't get in there. I wonder if it has to do with this blocked door or... There's something that leads down there. Let's save again. We're almost done with Jorvik. So I want to make sure I don't miss anything before leaving because it is a journey up here. It is a big journey up here. right there which would make whatever this opening is back here in this building but that doesn't make any sense of explosives which means there's some sort of thing that can be exploded here but if there is I'm not seeing it It's not there, it's right here. This makes more sense. Which would put that in line for where everything is, because it was showing tunnel start here. I gotcha. Took me a second there. But I found you.
Ooh, what else is down here? Aha, see, that is a door that leads to the spot. I knew it. Ow. So... What else is on? I still can't find the uh, key to that chest. Well, I assume we'll find out. If not, that'll be our last thing that we do. Let me go do this world event. I kind of want to explore what's over here because this looks like an area I haven't been to yet. I want to explore everything here. Oh, I can. So I can climb the rock. No? There we go. Let's see what's going on here. We're building houses on the outskirts. That is a lot of wood, holy crap. just on the outskirt of where I need to be, so I should turn around. Ah, no worries. Oh boy. So I finally found the way into that chest, uh, in through that cave there. Outside of the walls, it was driving me nuts. But it took a while, but we're heading to a world event. I'm gonna do that, head back over to finish off the story, and then get whatever leftovers we can for Jorvik. And hopefully start Suffix, because we've got some time. To at least do a few things down there. Um, question. Yes. Um, it was right here, but it was. I could see it through the tunnel. I couldn't get there. I. It's something I should have realized where it was, but I was looking in the wrong spot in the first place. So. Think. I will not stand for it. Rob me of my coin. Rob me of my Oops. house. To hell with it. Rob me of my wife. But may God strike you where you stand if you rob me of my pie. What is this about God and pies? Someone stole my pie, and I, a skilled <laughs> sniffer, am going to weed that pie thief out. All for a piece of pie. It is no ordinary pie. My pies top any other pies, and the blasted pie thief knows it. Oh, the smell. Oh, the smell. The thief went down this road. Come out, thief. I know it's here. I can smell my pie. The thief uh, this is what this pie. feels like. Oh, I will find that scoundrel. Mmm, the fragrance of melted butter. Comforting all. Aha! The thief came by. I am on the trail. My pie is near. My nose does not lie. Come out, thief! Oh, 
Oh my god. Uh, where'd it go? Yes, that one was disturbing. The coy sweetness of berries. I smell it. <laughs> the thief must be near now. Uh, what's going on with this cape? Come out, come out. Mm, the aroma of a pastry baked just right. The thief is near. Which way did he go? This is just the right amount. Ha. Ah. My delicious pie back. Delicious? Your pie was blander than my late father's face. What did you put in my pie? <gasps> the smell, this aroma. It's never produced such an effect before. I added some honey. It'll enhance the berries by a bit. Good God. It does enhance the sweet smell. This is remarkable. Unheard of. A miracle. It seems like this child would make an extraordinary baker. And Jorvik could use one less thief. <sighs> well, it does smell spectacular. You have a keen sense for the culinary arts, child. You want a job? God's piss of luck! Thank you so much, you won't regret it! I have so many ideas! <sighs> Stop stealing the pies. Oh, thank you for your help. Come by my stall, should you have a craving for pie. Okay. That was kind of funny and uh, neat. Same time. So, looks like nothing's left here besides... Literally the story and that. And that chest. That's literally everything I have left. Okay. I already looked at the order. Oh, because I killed him. That's right. The vice. Vice is ruthless. You asked me whether the vice can deliver, I have no doubt. He pursues his mark with unflagging rigor. We will have our boon needle of this, I'm sure. Okay. So, the vault is the one that we're going to be doing next. And then, what is this one? Oh, so we can't get that last piece until we get to Gloucestershire. Okay. So many menus to get out of. I'm going to give them time to go back to their stall. And then I'm going to follow them over there and see if anything happens. Sorry, <clears throat> I forgot to put on the music again. Did I unmute it? I thought I did. This song is over, that's why. Everybody's lining up. Look at this. Pies! Pies! Get your sweet warm pies here! Our crust is unprecedented, a delight to any mouth. Blueberries, raspberry, and honey. A heavenly combination. You have a pie for the trouble. And 
Okay. So we should be able to head up this road and take a left. Is getting daylight, so we're good. Oh god. Uh oh. I swear I'm actually full of energy, it's just. Apparently I'm not. <laughs> my body rejects what my mind is saying. So we might be able to look at Suffix and what real world stuff looks like before we finish out the stream, but I'm probably going to save that for next week when we finish, because I, I like doing it after we've done an area rather than before. We're gonna go back to the council longhouse, uh, meet up, see what uh, he has to say to us. Oh god, damn it! Why am I yawning so much? Um, we're gonna get everything situated. For the final run at this, which I'm sure is going to be at the uh, Yule Festival. The Royal Hall. I don't know why. Just gorgeous. What news do you bring? The needle will never sting again. Well done, Neivor. Who was hiding behind the name? My love, there has been an attack at the markets. The dockmaster, Grigory, is dead. The needle. Sold off the ware as he ceased to collect silver for the vault. He had no such authority. Why would anyone believe him? The council seal. That rat. This is getting out of hand. How he was able to obtain this is concerning. I must return and prepare for the Yuletide feast. But I will do so with a bent ear and a keen eye. Be safe. valuable seal and a riddle one of the four is ours one of the four Rizie, Falavin, Odin and you're the four members of the council we should search the offices now while they're occupied with the yuletide feast yes yes come to the archives
Okay. Could I have missed something? We will find out soon enough. Oh, why are you running? Okay, I guess we're running. But why are you walking and then running? What? Can you stop running? I'm not even running. There's no need to run. If I wanted to run, I'd run. Stupid. I hate that, uh... Even the... It, like, why? There's no need to run to the archives. Unless it's burning, or... I don't know, some sort of other thing. But I know exactly who... The third member is. He's... The room to the left. That is where the councilmen confer. I've already interacted with this stuff before. What are we looking for? Maybe Sorga if each sweet fey wadaga. A wax seal. Similar to the one I found in the sewers. The seal you took from the needle's hand. You don't think someone could have stolen it? Let's keep searching. A list. What Yarvik needs for the Yuletide feast. That is Aldon's handwriting. Items have been struck out. Where did he find the funds to make this larger purchase? Aldon is a well-connected man. And... I have seen these. Weapons and supplies. Enough for a small group of fighters. Hardly enough for Haftan's army. Could be why Fadavid is pressing the council for more silver. I assume there's one more thing in here that I didn't find? Ah. This desk. It looks as though it's been moved here. That's yours, desk. It is loaded with silver. Note to Silversmith. To be delivered to Coppergate Market. I will need this smelted down and will procure more if necessary. Breathe not a word of this to my wife. Sure. Scratch marks on the floor. There's a tunnel. Of course. Your desk used to be against the other wall. So why the change? A hidden entrance. Where does this lead? Guard the door. Hard to find out. And when Oh, okay. The light got brighter in here all of a sudden, but I need to make it a little bit more bright. There was wine here. Whoever moved it did so in a hurry. Wine was removed from here, and the room smells of almonds. Maybe the wine was poisoned. It is uh -oh. likely the wine of the Yuletide feast. Do you think one of the council means to kill someone? It looks that way. It is not him, not Mayor. He would never do this. He... Keep your focus. Once we have all the facts, then we can worry about Hyor. Right now, we need to get to the Yuletide feast. The people are in danger. You're right. The Roman Amphitheater. Let us go. Is that a door that can be opened? Looks like there's going to be a poisoning we can sum up at the, the Roman theater. 
That's not going to be good. Hopefully we actually get to participate in the Yule Festival afterward. Is that guy still dead there? Oh my god. I killed him yesterday. And he's still dead there. That's funny. Do you see the wine? No. Then there's still time. The entire council is here. Any one of them could be the vault. I need you to keep an eye out for the wine. I will speak to each of the council members, see if I can trap them in a lie. Even Hjor? Even Hjor. If he is the vault, I will not allow him to kill all these people. Lufina. I heard you. Just grant me one thing. Confer with me before you make your move. I will. Alright, so... I know who it is for a fact. Now to speak to the council members. I will speak of the wine and watch for their reactions. The hell is this? That may lead me to the vault. Why does it look like there's something here, but there's nothing there? A word, if I may. Ah, Drenger. If it's to join arms with me, the answer is yes. We can use someone like you against the Picts. I may be courted, but I'm selected with whom I join. Are you a drinker? Ah, if that is a challenge, I am up for it. Very well. I'll return with some wine. Wine? <laughs> Come now, we will do this over ale. That will give us a good measure of who can better fight its lure. I mean, yeah, that is suspicious, but it's not too suspicious. What a delightful feast! Alden has outdone himself. You're the last one I'm going to talk to, because I know it's you. I guarantee it's you. I love the silver. Hjor, who was that? There you are. I was beginning to worry. Worry not. We have tracked the vault here. Is someone on the council? You are certain? I am. Once I discover who, I will dig my blade into his heart and end this for good. Until then, it is important that I investigate without raising suspicion. I need your help. Of course. What do you need me to do? Drink yourself into a drunken fit. What? Why? I need a distraction. Keep their eyes off of me. The wine should arrive soon. Drink three full cups, then make a scene. I can't be seen doing that. You'll have to find another way. Just do it. I have the silver ready in the coming days. Thank you, Bob. Of course. Yes, yeah, sure, they don't want it. Nobody wants to drink the wine, but... Eivor, have you uncovered who the vault is? Oh, no, not yet. Not yet. I will return shortly with my decision. I know who it is though, but I just want to get out all my bases done here. Rishi. Ah, come to join the feast, have you? I have some bad news. The wine for the feast has spoiled. Of course it has. Why would I expect differently? I'll have my men dump it. There may be more wine in my private stores. I'll send a man to retrieve it. Is there anything else? That is all. Enjoy the feast. I shall try. So this is a neat little area. It's uh neat. I like the Yule Festival that they got going here. But I do enjoy the one that was at the settlement more, if I'm being honest. Odun, it seems you have found the funds to go ahead with the feast after all. You must be elated. <laughs> that is putting it lightly. Look at it! I could not have asked for a better turnout. Soon the feast will begin, and these people will be given everything they deserve. We should honor you. I will fetch us some wine. 
Uh, no, no, no. I, I mustn't indulge. Uh, the wine is for the people of Jorvik. Uh, but when it arrives, do help yourself. Yeah, there's no way he made the money by himself. He used his resources to get the silver in that silver melting workshop. Have you any idea who it is? Oh yeah, definitely. We know who it is. Let's go. I believe I have. Each of the council members has given me reason to suspect them. No. Some more than others. Who is it you suspect? Okay, that's interesting. I fear it is. It must be. I believe it is. It has to be. I think Fadavid aligned himself with the Order and plans to use the Needle's silver to fund his war against the Picts. When I pressed him about a drinking contest... Oh, shit! Drinking the no! No, 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 no! Oh, fuck, reasons, I thought I, that was the right name. Is the bolt. Brothers! Sisters! Dear friends! Friends, welcome all. Before we begin, I would like to introduce our honored guests. Here with me are I thought I had the right name. Honestly, I forgot his name. <laughs> Whoops. Men and women who have kept Jorvik trudging through these harsh times. I am pleased to say that today, on today, we honor you. We honor as well the nobles to whom we are all so The wine. Aldun is the vault. Too late for them. We must not miss our chance. Join me now in celebrating their successes and yours. To everything you deserve and to more. Shit. And now, deafened and blinded by your lust for indulgence, your foolish pride. I will tell you just what nobility is. A death sentence. A new world of order is upon us. A pity none of you will live to see it. Get the councilman to safety. I will handle Alden. Go. I literally wasn't paying attention to their names. Alden. Save you. Seriously? I can't believe I picked the wrong name. I wasn't trying to do it on purpose, but... More splitting headaches. Go ahead, shoot me. How did you shoot from? Ow. 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 That burns. Ooh. 
Ooh, right in the eye. <laughs> Up goes the weasel. Save these breaths. They will be your last. I want to know why they bled out when they drank the wine. What did you hope to gain with all this? What riches are worth so much misery and the deaths of honorable men and women? Only a feeble mind would call them honorable. They are privileged, sedentary, complacent. They wasted their resources. I secured our power through wealth. I contributed to the future of a glorious order. On the backs of honest people, merchants, and priests, and nobles alike. A4, you are wrong. Held back by your primitive cosmology. Nine worlds in the tree? No. Nine times nine thousand worlds. And as many sons. Nine nights I hung in the tree, sacrificing myself to myself. So does the wise one seek wisdom. Countless spheres awaiting our gift, our enlightenment. I live in one world only. You live in none. Well, that was, uh, insane, and a great finale for that. Hopefully we get to actually enjoy the festivities, though. Curious what we got here. Alright, just that? That's good. Thought I had to look for something else that like on this stuff. Order. So we have. Oh, but Auden. Let's see, I know. Ugh. I don't know why I picked the wrong name. Wait a second. What? Rake has new information. Note taken from the oil. Oil. I count on you sending me provisions. Otherwise, how can I. Entice those souls that work beneath the collapsing husk of the old church where I now sit. Or is it that you have wandered the takings of our relations? Rake works at the ruins of a church. Interesting. The vice. Um. Okay. So we know the. Vice's name is Reeve Derby. I come to you to ask a favor. A friend of yours, Reeve of my village, gave me your name, Reeve Derby. He said he has said to call him the Vice when I spoke to you, which by anyone's measure is a fool name. Owl name? Fool? Owl? Owl. I don't know why I'm having trouble with words again. But I meander, I can return your kindness with interest, could, could we meet? Okay. So we have to meet them by the river. Finish this quest up. This arc, I should say.
That must have been a fun way to create logs, splitting it lowly. Break out. Oh, there's the shop that I've been looking for. Is that it? No, that doesn't look like it, but... Hello? Guys? Oh, they're at the other place with the festivities. I see. One is the broad one. Half at the Yahoo. Eivor, over here. Bobbing for apples. Are you all right? We're fine. Faravid and his cars escorted King Rishie back to the royal hall. Everyone is safe. Let's regroup there. Okay. Why are they running? See, this is what I don't like. Oh my god, really? I unpause or unmute the music at the wrong time. Why? This has been a fun area. I've actually enjoyed it quite, quite much. Quite, quite much? Really? Quite well. Blech. Words that do not want to come out of my mouth. So I can't wait until later tonight because I get to watch the season finale of One Division. Oh boy, it's been so good. I just cannot wait to see what kind of amped up insanity they add for this finale and what it leads into. Alden, that sniveling little shit. Uh, Alden, conspiring oh. right under our noses. I'll kill him. That's how you say it. Uh, we already killed him. No need to worry about that. I don't care! I want answers! Calm, Lord Rishia. Alden is dead. That doesn't calm me. I wanted to rip the bastard's spine out myself. You want to calm me? Start talking. Alden aligned himself to a secret group that was plotting to overtake Jorvik. He had help from two others. Grigory the Dark Master and Ingeborg the Abyss. And you, Eivor? You were after these conspirators from the moment you arrived? Yes, though I could not let it be known. This group can reach any person, permeate the walls of any city. Much like the worms of a spoiled apple, they would have eaten Jorvik from the inside out if we let them. But you stopped that from happening. We owe you a debt of gratitude. You can be sure Hafton Jarl will hear of this. If the threat is gone, then you have my gratitude as well. I'm alive today, and so are many others because of you. I'd like to name you an honorary High Reeve of Jorvik, Eivor. Would you accept? It has a nice sound to it. You honor me, Lord. You have earned it. Hmm. 
Then if I may, a hoard of silver is left unaccounted for in the grottoes beneath these streets. That's right. Silver the Dockmaster was collecting. What do you propose we do with it? Ooh. Shit. Um, so, give it to the merchants, or fund Halfton's war with the picks. They've been having a hard time funding themselves with the war. Ooh, okay. I'm going to... Oh god, why did... Why? I'm going to set up a pole here. Voting on merchants or well, I don't. Their Helpton's War is going against the Picks, which they're fighting on a map that has nothing to do with where we're at. Uh, so merchants. Er, merchants. And Helfton's War. Add. Okay. Everyone can do it. Going to use a timer of two minutes. Two. No, two. Fine. We'll go three, I guess. I'm going to start it. Typing in vote and then zero for merchants or one for Helton's war uh so what let's see let's take into consideration the merchants would fund the entire city of Jorvik while funding the war against the picks I think would benefit Something. I don't know. I have no idea. They don't really give it any... I mean, I should have paid a little bit more attention to what was going on with Hel Helton's War, but... The silver was taken from the merchants to be melted down. So if we give it back to the merchants, they'd still have it. But I do know that Helton's War is struggling and there's one minute left or no there's a minute and 40 seconds left to vote for this um let's see I feel like giving it to the merchants helps the economy of Jorvik. Um, but see, if we actually um, pick Helton's war, we might be able to get more allies later to help us against the war. That we're going to be fighting against Alfred, I think. Ooh, this is a tough one. I haven't actually had a tough choice before. Where it's been like, yes, no, yes, no. This is so difficult. Okay, we are 30 seconds away voting. Uh, is exclamation point vote. Zero for the merchants or one for Helton's war. Oh boy. Oh, um, I believe it is like this vote. And then the number. Oh, well, it's closed. Just 
supposed to be like this. I believe. But I Oh, damn it. Alright, so I'm gonna ask why you would think merchants. Because it was theirs originally? Because that's my thinking on it, is it's, it was originally theirs. They should have it, but... Oh my god, why does it keep doing that? Yeah, I'm gonna give it to the merchants. It was originally theirs, uh, unfairly taken, and they were close to rioting, so. Hard-working merchants were robbed of their wares. Honor Yuletide by giving the silver back to the honest citizens of Jorvik. A wise suggestion. I agree. Fine. I will see to it that Hjord distributes the silver evenly. Come, Faravid. Help me secure this hoard. I could use a bloody walk. Yeah, with the... We have a saying in Yarmia. Only the dead get to complain. And we're still living. I could muster a few complaints about the king and the treasury. But I shall forbear. You did it, Eivor. We did. It may be we were the recipe to keep Norway from Harold all along. He still can be. No. Norway is behind me now, and the rest of England ahead. That said, I must be going. Wait. Bum, 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 bum. Should you ever need us, we will come. Boom. One last thing. The silver on your desk, Hjor. It planted a seed of doubt in my mind. So I must know. What is it for? I suppose I can forego the element of surprise. I hired a silversmith to craft a love token for Lufina. A Yuletide gift. You sneak. I will take my leave before you shame the throne. Until our paths cross again, old friend. In this world, or the next. If you drop by your again, and until next time. Away. I know of a place down the street. Four skill points. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Rantvi. Let's tell her the good news. It hurts that it, we had to end it, but... We have about two and a half hours before I call it. I might end at 5.30. And now... My main question is, where the hell is the key for this damn thing? Alright, so... If there's any more critical, we're gonna put it in there. Oh, what's that? Critical... Oh! Images. Um, yes. Okay. I'm curious how all these uh, decisions are going to pay back later, like way down the line, if at all. We're gonna grab this, we're gonna get that last chest probably on the way out of the port. And then we have a long journey back. That is quite a ways. And then we'll be going down to Suffolk to finish out what we started a while ago with the story. It's gonna take a while to get down there, that's for sure. Is that the last thing we need? Yes, it is. Okay, so that piece of tungsten is the last piece 
of anything to 100% the area. Now oh, listen to that music. It's gonna suck when we have to end a game and finish the story out. I'm not looking forward to that, to be honest. That's another reason I want to keep playing. Uh, once we do finish the main story, we will be doing river raids and daily stuff just because. Well, they pledged, but I don't know if um, the others would have pledged if I backed the war. I'm not sure how it would have went, to be honest. Why snakes? Why must it always be snakes? Alright, you know what? I'm going to use something I don't normally use. Because I don't see a key. Survey the area, Sudan. Normally it shows a key. Those are not what I'm looking for. There's got to be a key. Doesn't make any sense. Why it requires a key if there's no key in the area. Got to be a clue. Find a key to for each chest lock. Wait, I need more. I need three keys. What? Okay, so let's reread this. Three points to converge a triad of infernal chaos and pain. Once these conditions are met, my brothers in robes, heathens will run with their axes tucked between their legs. Each city shall be cleansed. Um. Huh? Am I just being stupid, or is it like something that I have to do? I've been to those sewers before. I think. Yes. That's the thing that I just did. No, don't look it up. Don't. Don't. Just don't. Urgh. There's got to be a solution that I'm just not comprehending. Something about fire?
I mean, sure, we'll be back up in this area for, uh... Irvik Shire. Uh, so... Hmm. I guess I could save it. Just gonna bug me. I have OCD, so it's literally gonna bug me. Okay, what I'll do is... I can't take a screenshot of that. Shoot. Yeah, it's not gonna let me. Uh, Alright, fine. They should show up when I'm looking down or pressing Odin's sight, but I'm not seeing anything. Why well, I'm taking a quick look because it'll show me rough area, but I'll have to figure it out later. Either that or I'm going to look it up because it's going to bug me because I'm not going to wait uh, until the end of the game to finish it. So when we're back up here next time for the other area, that's when I'll probably look it up if I haven't figured out what it's trying to tell me. Is that Fila? Jump down the stairs? Oh my god. I hate when they get stuck like that. Come one, come all, Norse and Saxons alike. Newly blessed food made untouched with our Lord's holy grace. I love this song, Ivar's Revenge from Vikings. I don't really want to look it up, that's the problem right now. I would rather figure it out. Uh, but it's right there. Um, I don't know. I don't really want to figure it out right now. I... The clue is the thing that I was reading, but I don't understand it. Not very clear. I feel like it's something to do with what we just did, but it didn't give me any keys, so I don't... I'm not sure what would be the next logical thing. There's an infernal chaos, so I'm assuming something to do with fire, but where there's fire here, I have no idea. I assume whatever's in here is up the- oh, no, it's just right there, okay. That was pretty simple. 
Stuck here. You can just shimmy out. Need to row our way out. So I'm going to put a, good lord, that is a lot of open map that I did. So it's not in your Vic, is what you're saying? If that's what you're saying, just say yes. Uh, make sure that I understand correctly. Okay. So in that case, I would assume either something here in this bigger area, since it surrounded that. But we'll see. I can figure it out later. If I start getting keys and I don't know what they're for, then I'll know what they're for. Uh, whoops, that's the other thing I wanted to do. I wanted to set... Actually... Ooh! Hold on. New ship song. That was a cool song. Let the sail out. All right, so follow the river and go to quest objective. I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. Um, I'm going to put up the trans, not the transition screen, the a back screen. Then I'm going to. Whoops. Cinematic camera for you guys. I'll be right back.
So I don't know if you could tell, I like using the uh, in-game visuals and the panoramic views to really give something to my stream, like the beer right back, the starting screen. I just love using it, and I wanted to sit here for a second and mention that before I go back to the main title, because we'll be out of this screen where I do a day-night cycle, and to point out how long the day-night cycle is, it's about 30 minutes. 30 to 35 minutes between each cycle, from night to day to night again. We're gonna go back to Ravensthorpe, talk to Rain V. Because the reason I went up to Jorvik was to get more allies, because she mentioned that we're going to need a lot of allies to go into Suffix. I'd rather have more allies on the ready if I need them. I know, look at just even if I go into my into this one. It's really cool. Even the colors changing. Um What I could do is actually show this off better by doing this. So right now we are four minutes away from it being reset on the video, but I can scroll all the way through. Oh god. So starting here, just day-night cycle. We do kind of a fast-forward here. Just looking at the visuals, the colors, the way the clouds, the lighting, everything works with it. It changes so drastically from even a minute to two minutes uh, difference. So it's like changing constantly and it's really cool. And then there's the storm clouds that can come out of nowhere and completely change it. Oh, where was it? It was right there. There was like a good visual for the lighting right here where the light is coming through the clouds. I have tons of these videos. I have to make more of them, but it's just really cool to see that sort of thing. And then it's raining while the sun's out, and I would love to see a rainbow somewhere along here. I'm kind of just randomly going through my stuff because this trip is a long way and I just want to kind of talk about the visuals because they're great no matter where you are. You can continue later. South England, Northern England, there's just a lot of stuff within all that. And I still don't understand how people find this boring. It's boring. Well, maybe you're boring. Yeah, I'm gonna say it. Go play more Call of Duty and shoot people in the face. Oh, whoops. Where are you going? Oh my god. <laughs> um, guys, you kinda... Holy moly. They overshot him just a tad bit there. Also, I didn't I don't know if you guys noticed. 
but when we were up in Jorvik, the entire uh, ship, let's see if I can get my mouse here, on these uh, side railings, the snow was actually covering that. And it was blanketing it, which I thought was really cool of a detail to add to the long ship when you're in a different area. Like, they didn't need to do that, but they did. also turn those in. Okay. We're going to talk to Haytham and return these uh, medallions. I am sorry for what happened with Dag. It could not have been easy. May no, he rest in peace. it wasn't. Yarvik is now free of the Order's influence. Brilliant as ever, my friend. Thank you for all you have done. And here we go. Keep this. It serves your cause better than it does my bucket. One more gone. The world is brighter for it. There are more medallions to collect. I need 15 medallions? Holy crap. I have to go. Then go in peace. Wait, what? Why is it telling me to do that? I thought it just did. I am sorry for what happened with Dag. Would not have been easy. May he rest in peace. Okay. I have to go. Then go in peace. Why are you showing that to me? Okie okay. dokie. Well, how many of the order do we have left actually? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Am I miscounting something here? Whoops, mouse is there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Huh? Do we have one extra med medallion? Is that what what the issue is? I think. Oh my god, I'm losing my mind. Yes. Okay, that's why we have 14 left. So, from what that's telling me, we have to beat all the Order of the Ancients and finish the game, more or less, to get that done. And then there's these, which I'm super interested what that ha what what that does. Like, it doesn't tell you. It just says, "Here you go." All these keys, keys, keys. All right. So now to talk to Rand V. We've got about an hour or two left of the stream. Uh, depends on how I feel at the end of this, because this is my first full week of streaming uh, Monday through Friday and it is a little bit kicking my butt right now uh, but we're still holding a little bit strong here Ooh, I can do it 
I just don't want to burn myself out now and uh, have to cancel shows or anything the next New time. So quick cook fries, cook if I need to end the stream fries, earlier than usual, I'm going to have to do that. But hopefully you guys understand that. We have a lot of stuff to get done in the next two months with Defiance, Valhalla, and uh, soon WWE 2K. Now let's see what's going on with Ranvi. I have purged the Order of Ancients from Jorvik, the Lufina, and Hjor's aid. And should we ever need theirs, they will come. You do this work well, Eivor. Is it a prelude to you joining the Hidden Ones? I doubt it. Not enough glory in these back alley brawls. I think that you would join if you needed to. It feels like... I feel like he would join. Or at least help them. More. Okay. So we have two spots left on this map. I really want to save Nottingham for my birthday week, which is still like two weeks away. I want to see the Alliance map. Plus, is a level 250 and main story is 160, so. We're obviously going to do the lower first, then go higher. But look at how many areas we have left. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six total areas left. We've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten areas. So we've been doing a lot in this 300. My mind is fixed on Sussex. Basim and I have a chance to save Sigurd, but we will need an army. That is for you to decide. The more alliances you have, the better your chances at victory. See, now I don't know. Oh, uh, because Nottingham could give us more allies, and if we need an army, and she says... If you need an army, we should have as many allies as possible. It's like, okay, well now I want to get more. That's why I went to Yorovik in the first place. Was to get more alliance members and get an army built. But we have everybody in these other areas. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think that we're set? Or should we do one more alliance before heading to Sussex? Ooh. I feel like I should just do it, otherwise I'm going to keep getting distracted and not actually go to Sussex. And I also want to do Nottingham later. I know that... Uh... Mm, the... Let's return to the map for a second here. I know that your picture is 190. This is 220. This is 250, obviously. Then these are the higher end ones. Hmm. I know, I, we just have a lot as it is. Like, if we have all that right now to go against whatever small or large force they have there, I think we should still be okay, but... Hmm. I hate decisions. All right, I'm gonna back out for a second here. I have changed my mind. I, I want to check something real quick. Uh, more 
towards what we're doing with our story. How far along we are, because I know it shows it on my stats. Um, from Nottingham, I get uh, supplies to build and finish upgrading my settlement uh, buildings. Am I going to be correct, though? Let's see. 304 hours and 24 minutes. Oh, my God. Um... Yes. Both would serve the same purpose, pretty much. It would just move up a notch. So it's not like... Why is it not showing me? Under here, maybe? No. There? No. It's not going to show me that way. One second, I'm just losing my noodle here. Okay, so we are at 64% of total progress, which means that we're 64% done with the story, I believe, is that what that means? Um, wow, we're actually on point to have a thousand kills per 10% 10 10 of progress, that's crazy. Uh, so 100% will have 10,000 kills if that's correct. Okay, let's back out of here. Oh, wait. I should go. So basically, all I have is upgrading the foul farm, which only increases like assassin boosts or assassin damage, whatever. Uh, let's see. Other stuff we have to finish upgrading are over here, which again are just feast buff, feast buff, and is that it? I don't know if there's any other buildings to build, to be honest, though, because uh, you can, oh, it's going to be in the way, never mind. Over here in the right corner. It shows how close I am to six. So I have this one with 85, this one with 85, and this one with the 85 over here. I think we're at 55 supplies at the moment, but like, I don't know. I don't really see a need to increase these at the moment. They don't really give anything. I want to see Plus, we can do some raids in the other areas that we haven't been to yet. Like, I know there's some raids, uh, monasteries and such up here, and here, and here. Oh, hmm. My mind is fixed on Sussex. Basim and I have a chance to save Sigurd. But we will need an army. That is for you to decide. The more alliances you have, the better your chances at victory. If we do Nottingham, we're only adding one small slice. And then we're going to have to do Sussex anyway, so... We really need the Nottingham alliance right now is the question. Probably not. I don't think it's going to make a drastic difference. I'm going to go with 
the Sussex and get this going. I will go now, and I will bring Sigurd back with me. That is a promise. Good. I will send word to our allies at once. Meet with Basim when you can. He should be in Croydon by now. All right. The hell? Oh, right. We have letters. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Like, most of my map is filled already, and I apologize for smacking into my mic stand here. Like, if we take a serious look at this. Led to Chestershire, Grant Bridgeshire, East Anglia, Essex, Kent, London, Oxen, excuse me, Oxenfordshire, uh, Shropshire, New York. I mean, that's, oh, and Lincoln. I mean, that's still a big chunk. If there's going to be any army here, that's going to going to be small for them. We could actually land at London and hop on over here. Okay. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll head over to London. Because I know there's no docks over here. But there is a road that leads pretty much right there. Uh, let's see what we have for these letters that showed up. Hey there, how are you? Atham's letter. Letter from Hatham. Avar, I received another letter from our poor fellow soldier of Christ. You may have uncovered a few new targets. Visit my bureau when you have some time. Hate them. Son of a... I should talk to Hytham about my next targets. Seriously. After I pick Sethix, you're going to do this to me? Why? Why is there so much water in on our rugs? Look at this. Our rugs are so watery. Good boy, Chewy. Yeah, uh, London, actually, it's kind of funny. Uh, playing Assassin's Creed Syndicate. If, uh, this is the team. I don't even know I'm going to say, say it right. Thames or Thames. I think it's Thames. But looking at this river layout and where London is right here in this river setup, London should stretch down to about here. And then pretty much that. That's more what London is now, according to Syndicate's map much much bigger all right so let's go see what Hatham has to say well, I know uh, England is wet it uh, has some of the swampiest lands one of the places where uh, either the historical or the fictional King Arthur got trapped in some bogs. Oh, Thames. So why... See, that's what drives me nuts about English spelling. T-H-A M would be fame for me. Like, I don't understand how that makes any sense. But, yeah. Thames. 
All right, here we go. Let's I see. I am sorry for what happened with Dag. It could not have been easy. May he rest in peace. Ah, here is something for you. An odd letter arrived a few days ago, signed by one calling himself... A poor fellow soldier of Christ. That's right. Someone you know. Not by sight. But this soldier has intimate knowledge of the Order. He's the reason I have found them so easily in the cities. The letter says you must travel to Winchester, visit God's house and look for a man in white. Then recite this passage. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly cometh wisdom. All right. I will speak with Randri, get a fuller picture of all this. Do you need something? Holy moly. I have to go. Then go in peace. Um... He just said go to Winchester. Winchester. As in... The seat of Wessex. Winchester. King Alfred's Winchester. The untouched Daneland Winchester. Holy crap. Our next targets are going to be in Winchester. Or... Oh boy. We're going to have to see how Sussex plays out. And decide Winchester or uh, Nottingham. But... Uh, that sounds exciting. We're going to be getting to the nitty gritty in the next few months here with some of these places to go. I'm super excited for it though. Like... Just, yeah, I'm excited. Okay, so what did we get? I don't remember. Oh, okay, the mystery, mysterious password. I was wondering what we got. When you meet the man in white at a house of God in Winchester, recite the phrase, when pride cometh, then cometh shame, but with the lowest, lowly cometh wisdom. Okay. Oh boy. Things are about to go off. So let's try and end this with a bit of a bang for Friday. Before we have to take four days off before we come back for Assassin's Creed. Hey, welcome back, Violet. Yeah, we still have about two hours, depending on how I feel. Um, I'm going to try and go for six, but could be 5.30. Still about an hour and a half to two hours. But we are off to Sussex. We're going to go save Handless Sigurd. Do I want to take the waterways down, or do I want to take the ocean? Hmm. That's actually quite easy to get around there and just shoot down. This is quicker. Eh, whatever. Actually, what do you guys think? River? Or ocean. Which way do you think is going to look better? Because I've been down the way I'm going to go down for the river to London. Like, too many times. Yeah. 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%, well, close to 100%. 100%, just, yeah, pretty much gotten a lot done. 
So, I will say we've reached our mark of 300 hours in game. And we're only at 60%. Uh, yeah. We reached 300 just today. Alright, so... Yeah, we got a lot done. But most of it's actually fully upgraded gear. Um, pretty much all the gear sets that we can have. I mean, there's sure like a few other pieces that we need to get done. Um, actually, I need to... That's a good thing to point out. We need to use the gate to Jotunheim. Because we're done with Asgard, I just have to switch on over there and start Jotunheim. Uh, that's another thing I'll show. Whoopsie. We're going to a 160 area. Yeah, most of the areas that we're going to be going to, we're going to be able to just kind of breeze through it. But with my slow exploring, it's very uh, different than if I were to be lower level and go in there rushing around everywhere just to see what's going on and get everything done. Yes. I'll I'll show you what I mean. Uh, once we get to London, I'll show you what I mean by slow exploring. Um, I'm also going to... Oh, has that been playing this whole time? Whoops. I thought I paused that. I've had the game since Christmas. And I've been doing most of my stream, or yeah, most of my stream time with Valhalla, so I think I have like 250-ish, 220 hours uh, on stream with this game. The rest has been off. Man, I haven't been this way in a long time. Oh, whoops. I forgot I put that back up. My bad. Look, one of the rich temples. Um, while I'm doing this, I'm just gonna point this out. As you can see in my transition screen here and everything, I have I just usually sit there and record that panoramic views just to have them for my uh, backgrounds and everything my ending one's a bit different though but I tend to just sit there and let the game run a bit too so that I can have some neat backgrounds stuff because I like it I love the views I love how gorgeous it is, Sail is ready when needed. I am on Xbox One, and I just realized that I could probably try and turn this back up now. It's been running for a while. Hopefully it doesn't lag out like it was. I don't know why it was doing that. Actually, it's... Sounding good right now, but could be lagging out in a second. I don't know. The Xbox app has been having a bit of an issue with uh, some of my lagging today, and I haven't been able to fix it. So hopefully, 
this higher quality stays at high quality without having any issues. We also have a bunch of interactivity uh, with the stream. There's sound effects. There's things you can make me do with the game uh, with channel points, which we call silver. And we like to listen to Daneheim while we play. Yeah, sure thing. Do what you gotta do. You know, I'm trying to think how I want to use the crazy sound effect uh, when I'm on a ship, because that's not going to work very well. I can't run around. I suppose I could jump off the ship and just start doing some random ass shit. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. Shall we raise the sail over? No, we're close to London. Might as well continue riding down the river like this. Thank you, though. And there she is. London is in view. Well, the aqueducts leading to London are in view, I should say. This was very intimidating and cool to see on my first trip down to London, except it was more foggy then. It's still cool though. Actually, no, this is London. I was wrong the first time when I said it. this wasn't London. We're going to hop off at the London port and uh, right across into Suffolk. If I remember my geography from what I was looking at on the map, we have to cross the bridge, take a right this way, and then I believe it's another right or something. The hard part is going to be getting up to this bridge because it's not easily accessible once you get to the docks. You have to take a bunch of stairs and all that fun jazz. Here we are. We are in London. It's been a while. I loved the ending to this mission or the story arc. And looking at this bay is kind of... Yeah. God damn snakes! It must be a running gag about the snakes. After, uh, Bayek. Wait a second. Usually there's a uh, Yams Viking there. 
Okay. That axe is crazy looking. Whoa. Oh, it even has a little bit of a bite on it in the front. I never noticed that before. That's clever. The architecture that was left back then is incredible like how much of it was still standing when the Britons actually took over can't remember if there's a easier way to get up there from here Random fox just running around in London. So many of them, actually. And there's another one. It's like they're trapped in here somehow. Not somehow, but, uh... For their... Yeah, for their time period, like, they... Built a lot of really incredible things. Which makes you wonder what happened, uh, why they left everything and didn't stay. Because England could have been totally different now. I don't know my Roman history that well, so I don't remember what the uh, actual reason was that they left. and then I take a left, I think. I said a right before, but... Uh, I'm gonna look at this one time. Yes. So, usually I like to... Oh god, he looks thin now. Weird. On that screen he looks weird. Here he doesn't. But I tend to uh, like to take off his furs and everything when he's lower in the lower section of England because it's a little warmer. And it's a bit weird wearing furs in a warmer area when there's no snow and it's warm weather. And... Shoot. Still took the wrong way. I was supposed to go through that way and then take the left. How did I not pay attention to what I was supposed to be doing? I... The left is not... Yeah. The breadbasket of Wessex. Land of plenty. It's beautiful, I'll give it that. Like Again... I'm enthralled with just that. Just right there, I think. How can you how can you go wrong with something like that? Hills just really bounce with color. Kind 
Goddamn sun just looks so great. Really? We're doing this again? Maybe we'll have better luck next week. Um, I'm just going to give it a second to catch up here. Laughing at me? I'm always looking for uh, panoramic that panoramic views and this is also why I call them focus points because you have to focus on them is this where I'm supposed to be looks like it um, I kind of want to come into the village from a better, better angle, but that's where we have to go anyway, so it's not... You know what? I'm gonna save real quick. This is a cute little town. Oh, it might have been better to go through that way because you get the full view of everything coming up and looks like a vineyard of some kind. This is an interesting looking uh, longhouse. Hey, I'll teach you how to steer. I think we're close, so I'm gonna get off my horse. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm just gonna put it back on, I guess. Because I do like the look of it in cutscenes. Awesome. Hello. Awesome. Thought he was around here, but maybe he's a little bit further down. Hey, Bassam, where are you? At this point, I think he's back up there. I have to look at the map. I think he's in the longhouse. Or at least in that house next to the longhouse. This is a very quiet little village. I like it. Oh, um... Yeah, um, uh, actually... 
I take that off. This is what I got going for his tattoos. Which I feel like I really want to show them off because there's a lot of arm sleeve stuff and it gets hidden. Occasionally I'll take it off, but... I mean, this isn't bad either, but it's a little weird for me. I would have to do something like this, and I'm not too much of a fan of that. I don't know. The original cloak looked... ugh. I didn't like the black fur. The black fur was very... strong with the black of the actual cloak itself, so... I assume he's in the building. Yeah, he's got to be in the building. Alright, I'll save one more time. Just because I'm a save freak. I do it in every game I play. Like, anything you'll see me do, if I have an opportunity to save a game, I'm going to save it, like, every single minute. <laughs> Doesn't look like him, but oh, he's right there. I see. Ah, no. Who the hell are these people? Wait a second. Hey. Oh my God. I know you're oh my God. You can hide. Do you know who all this is? Holy shit! That's cool! Okay. These are all of our allies from everywhere across the lands. Right now, it's the closest ones though. Um, these guys are from London. Eivor, my second favorite Norse. Must we always drift together on such violent tides? That is the way of things. Yet the meeting of friends is a glimmer of light in these dark days. Ever the optimist, though. It's good to see you both. I brought no pleasant words, only my blade. Let's see which proves more useful. This is gonna be good. <laughs> I'm not so bad as that. Eivor, you giant steaming bowl of elk piss. <laughs> King Oswald sends his regards. Brother, brother. East Anglia. Why is it the other way around? It's uh, good to see you, Eivor. Oh, stop mewing like a heartsick kitten. He's been moping since the wedding. There will be time later to reminisce. Are you madmen ready to spill some blood? After that bastard red, some nice soft Saxons will make easy meat for my blade. Doesn't look like everybody though, but... Having London and East Anglia in this fight, I will take it. I love how the lighting in this game, when you go from a building outside to inside, like... You can see how dark it is right there, but then when I move over here, the lighting brightens up. It's actually like you're looking outside with your own eyes, which is really cool. You wouldn't be the first man to here fall asleep go. on watch, but you would be the loudest. I did not mean to fail you, Gudrun Jarl. It was only for a moment. I was so tired. As are we all, boy. We marched hard to get here. Still. Hmm. Let's not disappoint me again. Whoops. You hear? My Jarl. I'm sorry. You must be Eivor. I've heard much of you, young one. They say you're something. We'll see. An honor to meet you. The stories are all true. No, we will. Uh, 
Guthrum Jarl, Saxon Bane, and Reaver of the South. I am honored to meet you at last. Respect where it's due. I like that. Here's hoping you fight as smoothly as you talk. Aver hopes to rescue Sigurd from the madwoman Fulke, now ensconced in Porchester Fortress. If you wish to crown yourself King of Wessex, Porchester must fall. An alliance here serves us both. You promised a great army, but you couldn't breach a Crone's Garden with what you have assembled here. What? This is not the sum of my forces. Where are the rest? Your allies are on their way. We must be patient. Ah, we okay. We wait for them. We march as soon as we're able. With these numbers, are you keen to see Valhalla today? I will not sit on my heels while Sigurd ruts in that she-dog's care. We might muster for an attack in the woods east of Porchester. But there are scouts between there and here. Scouts I can manage. Point me at them and I will blind Fulke's eyes. One walks the road between Brigsworth and Chichester. Another on the riverbank north of Crowley. A third keeps watch on the hills south of Croindene. But I warn you, these are all we know of. There may be more. A risk we must take. I will find the scouts. You move the men into position near Porchester. That is a rash gamble, Ravenfield. If we are spotted, we will be vulnerable. If you want victory, come now or not at all. Every hour we waste could be Seeker's last. You had better be all they promised. Okay, so London and East Anglia are the ones that showed up first. Everybody else is showing up, but it's going to take time. This will be interesting if it's like a last second type of save. Eivor has brought many allies together from all over the land. Like these two fine fellows. Broder and Broder, was it? Careful, Saxon. We're here for the killing, not to make friends. I'm very curious how this is going to play out. Alright, I just wanted to check something real quick. So, what do we have to do? Find and kill the scouts. Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh. Is this the place that he just said that uh, he's being held? No, fortress. This is an abbey. Where's the fortress? Oh, hey, more more lines. I don't know what these are called. I've been trying to figure out what they've been called. Uh, they're portrayed in a few different things. I know that there's Nazca lines in South America that are similar to this, but I don't remember what these ones are called. I assume that's the fortress. Maybe? It looks like a church. Alright, so there's a few things that I want to get done here before we go do those scouts. Basim, good to find you here. What news do you have? Fulke remains at Porchester, just as we suspected. And as of three days ago, Sigurd was with her, alive. That is the best news we can And how are you? I am well. And keen to see my old friend again. He'll be glad to see you, I'm sure. Talk to you, thank you. Good from Jarl. Your second Soma talked often of you and your conquests. But they are all one in my memory. A single great battle that stretches from my first breath to the end of this sentence. That sounds glorious. A living Valhalla. Perhaps it does. But what happens when all the dead wear the same face and their pleas become a senseless blare? Where did Torsten die? On a field or in a marsh? We were close as brothers once, yet I don't recall where or when. You wear the scars of battle, not only on your skin. The needle of loss becomes blunt once you have been pierced enough. But enough of that. So that's one of the things I keep forgetting. I want to check out the codex when we start meeting people and everything, because we have way too much to go over. Uh, there's people. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why is that commercial so loud? 
So, ooh, Alfred, Ivar, and Uba. This is... Dude. A lot of people. Good lord. I'm gonna have to go over these. I think it's Guthrum. Holy moly. Yes, Guthrum. Guthrum was one of the most prominent leaders of the great heathen army. Oh. That's why he sounds familiar. After taking land in Mercia and Northumbria, Guthrum turned his ambitions to Wessex, where he became King Alfred's most persistent enemy. That, that actually makes more sense now. A skillful tactician as well as fearsome warrior in his own right, Guthrum exemplified the hit-and-run guerrilla warfare mentality of the invaders, which allowed him to win so many early victories against the slower, more disorganized Anglio-Saxon beards. Through a combination of polit uh, politicking, politicking, pol wow, <laughs> words, Politicking, ransom, and surprise attacks. Guthrum kept his enemies divided while bit by bit he conquered their whoops. Conquered their lands. Okay. Oh, we have so many names to go over. I'm gonna have to do a couple of these uh every day at least. Let's at least look at Alfred, because he's one of the guys that we're definitely going to have to go after down the line. The youngest son of Aethelwulf, King of Wessex, until 858 CE. As a child, Alfred made a pilgrimage with his father to Rome, where he was blessed by Pope Leo the Fourth, I think that is. The other side would be five. Yes. The pontiff recounted to the boy his success in defeating the Sarkians. The Sar... Sarkans? No idea how to say that. The Battle of Ostia. The grandeur and solemnity of the Roman Church made a lasting impression on young Alfred. With five older brothers, Alfred had land or had little expectation of becoming king, and so devoted himself to scholarly pursuits, beginning a lifelong interest in learning. When Wessex became the target of Viking raids, Alfred fought alongside his brother Ethelred, now king, and proved himself a more capable commander. The storied battles of Reading, Ashdown, Wilton, and others follow up. Uh, wow, words. Just, yeah, words. And others followed. Alfred succeeded to the crown when Ethelred died from wounds sustained at the Battle of Martin. Martin? Eventually, he came to be known as Alfred the Great for his, his for his heroic defense of England, but for the life of him, he couldn't manage to a simple task of baking a cake. Oh, okay. That one's just kind of random. So we'll read a few of those every now and then, because there's a lot, and I want to read them on stream, so. But... Let's poke around some more. red jars that are going to explode on me? No. I just wanted to make sure that that wasn't going to blow up if I touched them. Definitely getting darker out since the 
torches are lit in here, it looks like. The hell? Oh. I was wondering what I was standing on. Character of Ale Wisdom, or Charter of Ale Wisdom. Why did I say character? Wow, okay. I am literally having brain farts. The scroll reeks of rotten ale. The South, we or the South Saxon Way. The Golden Glory Water Charm. Drink nine mugs of ale and toss nine more into the muds of the Mian Valley. Then one must guzzle until their loins have no more meaning. Once nude, the palate of the helm is cleansed. Dip your hand in a cow dung for the best arms of Croydon. Run nude across the valley of Mian. Drink nine final goblets of mead and dash moon dust across your empty... Oh, wait. Haven't I read this one already? Darkness is not taking you fully. Drink more for only from the darkness of the glory water can one refine God. There's one... There is a South Saxon... They can reveal the same glory the sons of Aelia in 477 when they slayed the Britons, and Croydon will be the new seat where the throne shall remain forever. I've definitely read that before. We. Definitely, definitely nighttime now. Oh, there's totally something over there. I've already been in here. What am I doing? Um, let's see. There was something down here. I just want to look for Bassam because I wanted to start the story at least. I'm gonna check every building. We don't have to rush this. Yeah, see, there's something in there. How do you get in though? Uh Okay. The one entrance that I see is blocked by a thingamabobber. Um shelf thing, whatever I'm trying to say. Ah, that's why. Yeah, I knew that had to do something. All that for one chest. Definitely upping the ante on how to figure things out. One thing that I had to find there, yes. Did see something down here though. Ah, 
Wait, where'd it go? What the hell? Ow, ow, ow. Oh, because it's right there. That explains a lot. Probably should put that down. And wait for that fire to kind of cool off there, but I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, really? Run through the flames. Ah, go out, damn you! Because, you know, adding a little bit more excitement to your paper chasing is totally a thing. Going to the top of the longhouse, it looks like. Oh, God. No, you turd. It's not that I didn't know where it was going, it was that I got stuck on that one spot back there and it kind of ruined it. Why are y'all getting freaked out? Actually, gonna check out and see what other kind of things I can loot before I do this again. Okay. I was not expecting there to be some sort of cellar. Go check it out. Drinking all rocks. Step up. Ah. Uh, okay. Sure. Is that a bottomless stomach? I see. Absolutely. You win if you can down it faster than me. Let's go. Bring forth your coin. Let's sweeten the pot. All of it. Bend the whole horn, huh? Ready your cup! Solum modo in paradise. Until I lose and get screwed over. Oh wow, there's a lot of cups to drink. This is gonna be interesting. I love this mini game. This is like one of my favorite things to do in uh, Valhalla. Damn, I'm drinking him under the table. I got a quick glimpse at that before. Ooh. Yeah. Drink him under the table. The trick is to get it uh, when you're in that black circle. Um, 
Oh god. I can't see a damn thing now. Oh boy. I need a light. So, getting fully drunk and... Oh shit. I dropped my torch. <laughs> Having a torch, being drunk with a bunch of hay in a basement full of people. Wait, didn't I just... Oh god, where am I? Is this the way I came in? No, this is the way... The other side. Parchment for the Elgeni. Or Ellen I have no idea how to say that. Seriously, I have no idea how to say that. The forest of Andrid is ours and has never fallen. We, we are defended by the sacred bows of the Weedle. Weedle? The Mian Valley is ours forever. Protected by the waves of the manhood peninsula. When Elia landed with his sons, we were born. Long live. Not even gonna attempt to say it again, because I'm just gonna fail at it. Oh Jesus! Am I still drunk? Oh wow. Um. Apparently, I drunk myself into morning. Stop freaking out. How is that place still on fire? Oh my god. Whoops. Second here. As long as I don't don't screw up here. Oh god. Ah. Oops. There's definitely other things in this village. going on over here? Why do they keep taking out their weapons? You're making me nervous. Stop it. Uh, are they dead? Are you dead? Oh, Jesus. Hi. I don't think you're dead. Loot. More loot. I could always use some more loot. Sorry. Feel like there's something I'm missing.
Why are these houses so wet? And it's so dry outside. Do they shove their water in their house? That makes no sense. Stop it. There you go. Guaranteed there's something in there. Especially with all this wood cribbing and everything. Or not. Jeep. Yes, I just felt like saying that and <laughs> going after the sheep. I think I'm at the end of my uh, rope here with my uh, vanity. I'm getting kind of tired too, so I'm probably going to go for maybe another 10 to 15 minutes. If not less, if I'm being honest. I don't want to just ramble and rant like an idiot. I just want to get whatever's here. How am I missing that? Is it inside? Did I miss it somewhere in the building? How did I do that? There wasn't a third level I could go to, so I don't know where the other stuff was. Try this again. It's just pitch black in there. It's so hard to see. It's not gonna do anything. The damn lighting once you get into a certain spot. Check up here. Now I need this. I think I've already been in park. Okay, so where am I looking? One thing's on the other side of that wall. I really don't like using Odin's sense though, Odin's sight. It, like, meh, bugs me. What the hell is that? Oh, that's the letter. Seriously? I was already over here. talking. Yay, I'm going to stumble over like 12 words. Let's see how many. The Shimmering Creek. After his death, the body of Lord Rig, ruler of Go Goldness, was returned home on a perilous journey up the Volga through Rushland. Volvig fought off various tribes to secure his body's passage back home. He was brought to the Shimmering... Yep. Number one. A shimmering creek where he had painted gold, a statue of Odin, and a cross. His body was buried beneath the creek with an axe and cross in hand. There is a rune stone there with his many names upon it. In his death, he became known as the keeper of the shimmer of the rivers unseen to the eye. Now that's a mouthful. As you lay your body in the river, 
or if you lay your body in the river with the rushing waters caressing your skin, you will hear his song in the shine of the sun. If the creek shimmers in your favor, Rig will send you good luck. He is the skull beneath the waters, the skull of lost rivers. His song is simple and a melody Bragi is jealous of, and it is said he will return one day, but only as a wave, his bones made of mead marrow and only when the tree of life is rotten away and hewn by waves into tiny chips. Some skulls refer to the chips of Yggdrasil, which is the king kenning of Rig who was mighty and forgotten. Ah, wow. And there we go. Already tripping up. He who has mighty or he who was mighty and forgotten. He who outlives the Valkyries, he who knocked on thrones I know he was wrong by someone, and the voice that spoke in him are real. They are the ancient threads that tangle and tie until someone can make the world right again. Interesting. Oh, I see. Expecting me to climb this. Really? Really? Thank you. We. Hello. I think that's the last piece that we needed from this town. Yeah. All right. Um. There's a lot of pages for that story. Like, where are they? Are they down here? This one of them? I think this is it. No, that's not it. Let's see, I think I have three and seven that are still missing. I don't know why. Unless I'm just not looking at it correctly. Um. Ooh, I am actually really beat. Uh, first full week of streaming uh, in a long time. The last time I did it was last summer. So I need to probably end here, otherwise I'm just going to rant and be boring because I don't know. But we're going to transition over here. I want to thank everybody this week for watching Defiance. Yeah, it probably is. Um, I just have to make sure I'm looking at all my pages correctly in my inventory because I don't think they're actually... I think they're there, I just don't know. I got it set up to look properly and write them down as I find each page. Because it goes from 1 to 2, or 2 to 3, and then 5, 6, then 8, 9 or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this entire week. Defiance has been a blast. I've had a blast this week uh, playing. Right now I'm just really tired for some reason. Um, so we'll be back Monday around 12, 12.30. We shouldn't have any issues setting up for that exact time. Uh, because 
this week I was setting up my internet and everything and it was just a mess. We'll be back with Defiance on Monday and Tuesday, then we'll be back with Assassin's Creed 11 to 6 on Wednesday next week. And possibly WWE 2K on Friday next week, I'm not sure yet. That will be a decision I'll have to figure out over the weekend. So, thank you everybody, have a great weekend, have had fun, take care.